All right, there we go. You know what I don't like? I don't like about um, about the hosting system is that you have to refresh to, to for the stream to show up. Uh, I wonder if it just takes a minute for it to go through and propagate to everybody. And if, if I just didn't refresh, then it would go through, but, you know. Do, 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 do. Alright, how's everyone doing today? Doing good? Doing well? Hey, hey, people. My load screen for, uh, for Cyberpunk 2077, um, for the past god knows how many hours, at least 50 hours, maybe even longer than that. Is this news report about like um, a a uh, crashed shuttle that happens, and the start of the news report is uh, the news broadcaster going, "Hey hey," and my head autofills to people every time. So uh, Seth just owns that now, I guess. You have to have a very uh, a very anime. Hey, hey, in order to uh, break out of the Seth influence. Hey, hey, people. Chiaki here. So, uh, related to that, there was, there was a strange glitch that is going to go in the video under... I don't know if this is actually a glitch or not. Um, with that intro, is that there's, there are multiple news broadcasters in the game. And the first time I heard that intro, and, and it goes it goes like this, is like, hey, 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 you know, anyone else lose power yesterday too? Yep, there I was making dinner, and uh, when I oh, when I say making dinner, I mean nuking a half-eaten burrito that I found in my couch. You know, that, that's, that's the intro, right? And the first time I heard it, it was, um, your man Stan, th that news broadcaster, I'm pretty sure it was Stan. Uh, it was d definitely a man's voice saying it, and I'm like, okay. And then the second time, it was uh, a woman's voice, and it was the other uh, news broadcaster, but it was the exact same lines, like the exact same thing. So I thought this was some commentary about how how the news organizations are just are just owned by everyone, and it's like that. Have you seen that that video where it says something like, um, "This is very dangerous to our democracy," and it's all the news anchors people saying the exact same fucking thing, you know? So I thought it was that's, that's some commentary on that. Like it's it's gonna be, you know, there's gonna be a different news anchor every single time that does this that does this uh, intro. But since that first time, it's been the woman anchor forever. Like, it was only the guy once. And, and I mean, I've seen that intro a lot. I've seen it at least 30 times. Like, maybe even more than that. Like, so I don't, I don't understand, like, what happened? Like, is, is that a, is that a, is that a glitch? Is it the fact that I'm stuck on the girl is the glitch? Or is it the fact that the man showed up once is the glitch? Or... I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> What's the best, uh, uh, I shouldn't even ask this, because I know what the answer is going to be, because it's just for one song. Because you're weebs. Like, I was going to say, what's the best radio station? And you're going to, everyone's going to say Body Heat because of Pom Pom shit. I like the Vexel one. The Vexel one's pretty good. But I really like, uh, I really want to stay at your house. And that's on Body Heat. And the Grime song is pretty good. The 4am one, that, that song's pretty good. 
No, the industrial one makes me feel better. That's that's Vexel, I think. That's Vexel. I like that one. Okay, just in case um, it got eaten by the Twitch monster, thank you, Larachek, for the... I'm reading this from chat itself. Thank you, Larachek, for the 4 3 sub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lycantropoloco, Lycantropoloco, for the 5 3 sub. Thank you, Smaffy, for the 11 3 sub. Thank you, Cringy Bobby, for gifting out two subs to Siram and Radio Nella. Thank you very much, Cringy Bobby. Thank you for the 500 bits, uh, Os Andrew. Do, do, do. Sorry if you can hear the cat. Do, do, do. Did I try any other gacha games for Genshin Research yet? No, no, no. Gen Gen the Genshin video is kind of on the back burner. I'm just kind of playing it just a little bit here and there. Like, I, I do my dailies and that's it. I don't think we should talk about Genshin. It's it's unethical. Thank you, Hypercuban, for the 14 month three sub. Only half joking. Uh, thank you, The Joke Store, for the new sub. Welcome, The Joke Store. I like your name. Thank you, Joe Dejer DejerQ? DejerQ for the new sub as well. I'm, v I'm very nervous reading out um, uh, sub names today after I was brutally got yesterday. Like the biggest gotems of gotems. Like just brutally. Brutally murdered live on stream. Thank you, Moon Sonata, for the former three sub. Thank you very much. Just brutally. How's the Witcher 3 video coming? Uh, in case people are here um, and they're new to the stream, I think there's there's quite a lot of new people that, that are coming to these streams. Um, although the Vampire playthrough doesn't seem as as, play, as, as, a, as popular as the Detroit one because the viewership was dropped quite a lot in the stream yesterday, which is fine. Um, the I delayed the Witcher 3 video to play Cyberpunk uh, because it was just so close and it seemed, it seemed like a, a good decision. And then Cyberpunk just kept getting delayed. <laughs> it's like, oh no. Uh, but then finally playing the game made me think that it was a good call because um, there's a lot of lines in the script that, uh, well, not a lot, but uh, like enough lines in the script and points that are like, um, uh, not not just uh, stuff like, I wonder if they'll improve this for Cyberpunk. Well, that line doesn't make any sense now that Cyberpunk is out and we all know. But also things about how, you know, CD Projekt's reputation and how they make their games and, and you know, like they've learned a lot and, you know, they don't release games until they're ready now, right? You know, like that, that sort of thing. Um, how there's a lot of things that they did better in Witcher 1, 2, and 3 that they did worse in Cyberpunk 2077. Like they, they didn't, they didn't learn a lot of lessons from that. Um, and it's, I don't, I don't know how that happens. I'm, I'm guessing that, uh, there's, there was a lot of management going on or a lot of, uh, fingers and ears of the management going on that they weren't listening to their devs. Cause it's, obviously the game is, is completely fucking broken, like com completely fucking broken. Um, yeah, there's this, there's this strange, like cyberpunk defense force too, which, you know, it makes sense. Like the game is still mostly playable and you can have a good time with it, I think, for sure. There have been lots of times where I've had a, a decent time with it, you know, in, in sections. And uh, the city itself is, is very well realized. It's a beautiful city. Like, the art team and the asset creation team nailed it, you know. Um, it's just every everything else just shit the bed. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know, just just the weird... When, when you have, like... I don't know, like, if... Um, some of, if it's been confirmed if some of the devs of what they've said and come out is, is true or not but like when you have so many so many you know so much backlash against the game you know like sony took it off the store and there's like multiple lawsuit rumors going around which might be bullshit but i don't know we'll see and you have these these leaks from the devs and shit but there are still people going i think it's a great game and you're all hating it for no reason like sony took it off the store dog like she came down in a fucking bubble, dog. Like, if Sony took it off the store, and you're like, Arthur, it's fine. Like, I, I think maybe, maybe you're wrong. You know, like, I don't know. Thank you, Port Excel, for the former three sub. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. And thank you, Not Waco, for the eight month three sub as well. Thank you. Ah, oh, fucking creative cloud. I'm closing it. 
Close. Really? You just opened yourself again. A quantum creative cloud. No, close. Your device needs to restart to install updates. Select the time to restart. No. All right, I better select the time or else it might restart in the middle of a stream. All right, when do you want to restart? Restart now. No, I don't want to restart now. Schedule the restart. No. Fuck it, let's just risk it. We're risking it. Isn't it a while city project? I got so many so many other fanboys who only played their game in, in a series. Well, that that is linked to the intro of the Witcher Three video. Witcher Three is a weird game. Do 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 do. Your list has eaten my last three months three months of resubs. Has it really? I said thank you to you earlier for bits, but not for resub. Thank you for thank you for the uh, the resubs, Os Andrew. Sorry, I have said your name before though. Maybe that was also for bits, or maybe it was um from uh from um subs before the list started eating it. Do you always resub at the very beginning of the stream? Resubbing at the very beginning of the stream is is a is um is a bad uh way for it to get noticed. Like you, you shouldn't have to know that, but. Um, yeah, for whatever reason, the list doesn't like it at the beginning of the stream. Uh, thank you, Daxter, for the 16 month or so. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm trying to read through chat for, for any subs or anything, like, manually at the beginning of streams because of that now. Did my sub get eaten? I don't think you're on my list, Pickle Himiko. And I, I didn't see you in chat either. So, I think your sub got eaten by Twitch itself, not by my list. But thank you for the resub, Pickle Himiko. Do, 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 do. Is your Witcher video also going to be bugged like crazy, like all the projects that have been announced for you? Nope, nope. I make that joke in in the Cyberpunk video, though. Damn, just chat just knows all my plays now. Predicted all my plays. Good thing the YouTube audience just outnumbers you all, so you know it doesn't matter. I could I could just say the whole video right here, and it would still be new for most of the YouTube audience, so it's fine. All right, so what are we gonna do after Vampire is done? Should I pick a game, or should we um, should we do another vote? Should we play Persona Four? Should we? Um, I don't know. What should we do? I like to play another game. That's um, I really enjoy streaming games that are like Jedi Fallen Order or Resident Evil uh, Remake Two. They're they're not so short that you complete them in one stream, you know, but they're not so long that it takes like a whole month, although Jedi Fallen Order took a while. Like I like those kind of games that still have have um you know enough action and, and demanding of me, but it's not too bad, you know, and I can get I can kinda of sink into it for like a week or two and then we're done and then we move on. Um I don't know if how many games are like that though that we that we can find. Play Devil May Cry 5. We did already, we did that already. Do 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 play Ghost of Tsushima Sumigi. Yeah, the thing is, that's a big open world game. I don't want to play another big open world game. Like, I'd really, I'd, I'd like to check that game out. I'd like to check out Immortals Phoenix Rising. Um, but again, it's it's an open world game. I, I'm I would rather not play an open world game again. Hitman seems like it ha seems like a bad choice when the new one's coming out and has all the content of the old one. We might as well just wait for Hitman Three to come out. And I'll get Hitman 1 and 2, and then we'll have all the content in, in Hitman 3. When is Hitman 3 coming out? Hitman 3 is coming out in January. Oh, it's it's out. It's out It's out right now. We could be playing it right now. No, I don't know when it's coming out. Um, so, Sometime this month. Do, 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 stream the Hollow Knight Pantheons, just so I know they can be beaten. I don't know if I could do that now. Haven't played, uh, haven't played Hollow Knight in a while. New Sonata. Is that out yet? Subnautica below zero. Do 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 do. Nope. Nope. I'm not playing. I'm not playing below zero until the early access game is gone from the store page. That's that's what I'm doing because I played Subnautica one in early access 
And I don't like deeply regret it, but I regret it, regret it a little bit. I think I would have had a better time with Subnautica if I hadn't played it in early access. I love Subnautica, man. I love Subnautica. Biggest fanboys on the internet, by the way, Subnautica. Have I played Vampire? No, I have not. With with the Y, I have not played that game. Is that game good? Wow, there there are so many there are so many games being suggested in um in chat right now. Hmm, I don't know. Start your adventure with uh, Final Fantasy XIV with Weeaboo Bill on stream. Nah, if I stream with Weeaboo Bill, I would get banned from Twitch very quickly. <laughs> Uh, thank you, uh, Pyruni, for the uh, uh, gifted subs to five people. Thank you. Uh, welcome, uh, Anyashi, uh, Lun533, Draco Tomes. Oh, some of these are resubs. Uh, non descriptive nickname, nice, and Heaven's Deviant. Thank you, Pyruni. Thank you. Also, thank you to uh, D Rider Queen Mavis for the 100 bits. And thank you to uh, Mia Jer Mia Jerian. Mia Jerian, maybe one of those somewhere in there. Sorry that I mispronounced your name. I don't. I don't get to have capital letters in the names apart from the first one. Um, so uh, thank you very much for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. I got two of my resubs in. Did you Vlad Vlad Vlad? I'm sorry. Thank you for the resubs. Vlad 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 Vlad. I have said your name before. I remember saying that that sequence of Vlads before. But yeah, was it the beginning of stream? Hmm. <laughs> What is my history of Path of Exile? I play, I streamed Path of Exile a little bit. I tried it multiple times before that stream. Um, Path of Exile is, is actually responsible for me having the channel. Be uh, well, partly responsible because um, uh, I played Path of Exile a long time ago, and uh, it was there was there was Path of Exile and a couple other games that I played, and that I went on to uh, I went onto some forums and I wrote like a big feedback thing and said this is what I think is wrong with this game, and um, like. I have a history of, of going and critiquing things because that's what that used to be one of my biggest hobbies when I was uh, when I was in my late teens, early twenties uh, with creative writing groups. I would go and critique people's um, uh, fiction very, very nicely. You know, like very, very polite, very Canadian. Um, I, I think I'm still mostly polite in the videos, but uh, I go I go a little harder on the big companies than I do when it's like a one on one with with um with someone who's who is a, like a beginner writer. Um, and I, beginner writer myself uh, back then, arguably still now, right? But like, yeah, even back then, um, and just learning through through trying to figure out what works and what doesn't um, with uh, with people with with other amateur writers. Um, and I, I try to tr kind of like move that over to uh, to to games. And I wrote some posts um, on different forums, not just Reddit. Um, and one of them was Path of Exile, and the Path of Exile post got a lot of attention, and it, like it, it got quite a lot of, uh, of of comments and replies, and there was a lot of like, oh, this is a really good write-up from a new player, and this is this is really, I, I agree, I disagree, and it was like, oh wow, like oh th this resonated, um, and then I, I was like, hmm, okay, and then like watching different different videos like by Mr. Me Tong, Super Bunny Hop, and Matthew Matosis, and um, Kind of stranger gold. This was this was before gold. This was before there was gold. This was back when Reddit was cool for for like the the, the first month. Um. Anyway. Uh. <laughs> I don't even know if it was on Reddit. Um. Anyway. Uh. I. Uh. And I was like, okay. I really want to make the video on 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 Dark Souls, and that was kind of like the uh the uh the one one of the occurrences that had happened for me to be like, hmm, I think I could do this. Anyway, so I played Path of Exile back then, um, and then I played, um, I tried it one more time on stream, and it was okay. And then uh, when when Kate was born, I I um, played Path of Exile for the Cyclone season when they updated Melee, um, and because uh, it was just like a really easy game to have have on in the background whenever I was looking after the baby, because because um, sometimes babies will just just be babies, you know, they're just they're just there. Um, 
you know. So just just holding the baby, playing Path of Exile, highly like a responsible dad. Um, not really, but you know what I mean. Uh, and uh, I played I played the season for that, and I got to level ninety something or whatever uh, through through maps. That was the first time I got to the map system, and um, I haven't played it again since. Uh, I heard that the latest one is really really bad. Um, I think Path of Exile is is in desperate desperate need for a for a, a massive overhaul and they need to just not do a new content for like two or three seasons and just completely revamp how the whole game is but path of exile 2 is coming out so maybe that's what they'll do with path of exile 2 is path of exile 2 still coming out i don't know but path of exile 2 is meant to, is meant to be kind of like how hitman 3 is going to be combining the, the content of the new content and the old content um so we'll we'll see if, if that's if that's worth it or not but i think path of exile is is a um dangerously bloated game that has ballooned out of anything that's reasonable um it's completely impenetrable to a new player like um i i've played games pretty much every single day for my whole entire life you know like ever since i was five or so um i've wanted to play games every single day for my whole entire life and and most days i've i've made that 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 happen you know um and i had trouble getting into that game you know like i i had trouble like it was like what the fuck like I need to do what now, and and just you know like it, it it's difficult. Um, and I think the difficulty is is you know could be a good thing. Um, and there's some systems in that game that that are amazing. I think the crafting in that game is is the best thing about it. The crafting is just fucking stellar. Um, I love that this the, the crafting me means that how crafting works in that game is that currency is actually valuable all the time. Like even even the low tier stuff is still valuable because it has some uses for how you make items in that game and it always makes getting drops valuable. So I'm like, you know, you play Diablo and, and at a certain point Diablo 3 gold is like, ah, who gives a fuck? And your crafting materials is like, eh, it's just like a roll of the, the roll of the dice that's just kind of thoughtless. Like here you go, fuck it. Um, but Path of Exile's crafting, like economy and crafting is just is just so good. Um, but that also needs an overhaul i think I, I think that 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 needs something that's more structured and there needs to be some some way to uh um to to get more reliable results from from the crafting system but like this has come from someone who still doesn't really understand it like i didn't really get into the crafting all that much i just saw it from the outside looking in you know <sighs> sorry i'm just drinking my coffee i i haven't been sleeping very well lately so um we got like a slow start to the stream That's why we've been late, too. I've been getting up, like, 20 minutes before the stream starts. So it's like a mad rush. Get up, get up, get up, take the puppies out. All right, feed the puppies. All right, enjoy puppies. Live your life. By lately, do you mean last series? No, lately. Like, um, so narcolepsy is something I've had for my whole entire life. Um, but it was manageable for the first, like, I don't know, 15 years. <clears throat> I don't really remember having narcolepsy that much when I was a kid. Um, but, like, I remember, like, looking back, I'm like, oh, okay, that, that definitely was narcolepsy. The, the, the night terrors, that was narcolepsy. The, the kind of nighttime hallucinations, that was narcolepsy. Um, Finn probably has a little bit too, but it's not completely confirmed. But I see a lot of what he goes through that I went through as a kid. Um, and then as I got older into my teens, it got, it got worse and worse. And then there's absolute worse in my 20s, just, just, fucking awful in my 20s um and then toward my late 20s uh, it got better uh i don't know why it got better uh but it got better and then around one of the time when i when i uh, started the channel it, it, it was the best it had been for a long time <clears throat> and then like maybe just before we started moving we moved to moncton it started getting worse again and it's just been getting worse and worse since then to, to where we are now um so like i i think it's just a just a confluence of things that, that, that are happening. Like it didn't start getting worse when uh, we we started having kids. So it's it's not the kids, although the kids might be contributing. It didn't start getting worse when we started the channel because it started getting worse a little bit before that. Um, so I don't think it was it was because of the of the or a little bit after. I can't remember um, exactly when, but it, it wasn't like at the exact same time. God, my memory is shit. But no, I don't think I don't think uh, it's because of the channel or anything like that. It's just you know time it wasn't the witcher video no it was definitely before the witcher video is there any treatment for narcolepsy uh the only effective treatment that i know for narcolepsy <clears throat> is a drug called xyrim uh which is a bit too hardcore for me 
Zyrim is the kind of drug that the first time you take it, you have to be monitored during the night to make sure that you don't die. Uh, it's also a uh, it's also a narcotic that um, some people like to just take and then not sleep because they have a good time on on Zyrim. Um, uh, so I think it's mostly that you could have a reaction to it because you take you, you take quite a lot quite a lot of it. What about modafinil? Modafinil made my heart race. So I was on that for a couple days, and uh, I feel like it gave me heart pal palpitations, so I stopped taking it. Um, Zyrem is spelled uh, X-Y-R-E-M. I don't know if it's meant to be a joke, because R-E-M is REM sleep, and that's a big part of being an archaleptic, but yeah, it's 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 Zyrem. Um, I have never been on Zyrem. Um, I, uh, we could never afford it. Um, and I've been I've been too busy <laughs> to see what it's all about since we could afford it. Um, and also, getting a doctor in uh, in Moncton is uh, is impossible, so it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. Some people are suggesting all the things that that usually people suggest uh, to me, and uh, none of that works. No, none of that works. The only thing that 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 could possibly work, and I've had some moderate amount of success with in the past is um is a severe amount of exercise and when i say severe amount of exercise i'm talking about like leading a an extremely active lifestyle in addition to doing at least two hours of intense cardio every single day and one hour of strength training when i was able to do that um i slept better but that's just not feasible for me right now like like maybe i could do the three hours every single day and like man eh, i have to build up to it again um but like the active lifestyle with my job is just impossible. <sighs> Was I jacked before? Nah, I've never been really jacked. There have been times in my life where I've been, I've been, I've been in much better shape than I am now, but yeah. Would you stream 13 Sentinels? Yeah, maybe. All right, should we play the game? There's a game. Whoa. This music reminds me of something and I can't place it right now. Alright, so this is Vampire the Masquerade, it came out in 2004, it is a Source Engine game, and it is kind of like Deus Ex, uh, and so far I'm, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Uh, we are a Torridor? I can't remember our, our clan, does it say here somewhere? We're the Count, uh, and we're kind of like an artistic inspired vampire, Toriador, uh, and um, we uh, very much enjoy our lock picking, uh, but we're not very good at it, so uh, yeah, it's kind of like real life, yeah. Nothing can stop us because we're the count. Uh, thank you, Zalik22, for the six month resub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Citizen Mono, for the 15 month resub. Thank you very much. And thank you, Call Me Napalm, for the new sub as well. Thank you very much. Okay, so our quest, we didn't do very much in the stream yesterday because we kind of just walked around and explored the city, but we got some of the main quests done, I think. I, I'm assuming that the main quest was for, to get that uh, explosive stuff. So now we have to um, find uh, Sabat with Bertram Tongue and um, I think we have to go to uh, we have to go and find someone in the asylum that we went into and, and look around uh, but I wouldn't I would be curious to see if we could get um, um, some of the side quests done I thought for sure we have to go to the bail bond place to do to find that shit and we have to find some vampire named Lily it's E right We have to find some vampire girl named Lily, and I thought like like maybe this was Lily because it was supposed to be in the diner, and uh, it's it's definitely mm -hmm. not my Lily. But yeah, I thought that yeah, but no, it's not. So let's go see if we can find Lily.
like you've slipped into something comfortable. I know, I know. Are you a posing? Yeah, he's a posing. <laughs> right? I mean, he's still kind of moving a little bit, so maybe not. I don't know what the fuck is going on with that. All right, can we can we steal a a, 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 a thing on your computer, dude? Like, let's find out. Oh, okay. I can use your computer. All right, cool. Available menus. A F. How many boats do you own, Vigo? Two. Actually, three. Uh, one is uh, in the shop. Right, does, I used to do a little yachting myself. Does Lily have a last name? Oh, Rolf Toten. What brand of yacht do you have? Um, you probably wouldn't know the brand. I uh, bought them in Italy. Ah, la Italia bella. No. Parlate italiano? Can we look at all of them? Oh my god. No game, no. Alright, GM. Hello, caller. Is tonight a rerun? I see. Oh, there he is. Toten R. Alright. Bond written 082203. Immigration K663321. Bond amount 15,000. Type of bond collateral. Car red. Uh, Lightning Bird 77. And CA plate. California plate. Guy Connie? No, let's go back to the Germany of to Germany of Pal. We don't take the Euro in these parts. Alright. That's it. Oh, now we have to look for the car with license plate Guy Connie. Okay, cool. I'm kind of glad that they're telling us that because it wouldn't occur to me that the, the, the license plates could be readable in that way in the game. So it's kind of cool that they've pointed that out. But this is a limitation of the medium still. You don't expect things to happen. All right, you know with the A-pose? I learned about A-poses because um, in the Fallout 70, 76 video, I almost called the Fallout 77 video, um, I, I had a clip of someone doing an A-pose, a ghoul doing an A-pose, and I called it a half-assed T-pose. <laughs> And some dev contacted me and was like, no, that's that's not a T-pose, that's, that's an A-pose. But I like your name, so I'm going to start calling it a half-assed T-pose now, too. Uh, so like, oh, they're A-poses. I, I had a good comment on that video uh, recently that said... Um, uh, it, it, there's a there's a section of that video where I there, I find a keypad and I say that the code to the keypad is uh, 11037 and someone wrote a comment saying wow that means that there's someone that Bethesda that did that quest is a big fan of Danganronpa because that's a number that's in the Danganronpa series that that's a cool cool Easter egg and I'm like oh because <laughs> the code the code if you haven't played the game the, obviously the code isn't one one zero three seven. That was a joke I added in the video, and um, and uh, they didn't they didn't know that. But okay. All right, let's look for this car. It's probably in the parking lot, right? You can do the crouch jump thing. That's how you know this is an old game. Nice. There's someone in chat right now that is relieved that I know about that. Oh man, Joe's a real gamer. Thank God he knows about that. All right, that is hard to see. One five two PCE. These guys have the same plates. We found it. I think if we give it time, it will open.
Installed the patch. The patch is installed. I checked. It is installed. It, it's been installed the whole time. Aha! Doing the bunny hop thing did it. No, 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 no. Okay, all right. Can we get this too? Is it because we already have one? Yeah, all right. Whew. Time to level up our hacking. This seems to be a woman's diary. 4303, I met a guy today at the asylum. He's so beautiful, oh my god. His name is Rolf and he is from Germany. European men are just so classy compared to boring California boys. He asked to see me tomorrow night. I wonder if he's rich. He looks rich. I'm going to go, sh I'm going to go shopping tomorrow and pick up something that won't make me look like a big fat pig. Can't wait to see him. I think it's getting serious with Rolf. He told me he wanted to give me something very special next week, and if it's what I think it is, it's about damn time. I thought Europeans were supposed to be less uptight about this sort of thing. Wow. I woke up at 9 p.m. today. That would be strange in itself, except I don't remember going to sleep last night. In fact, I don't remember anything since last since last Saturday night when Rolf was over. I woke up late again. I haven't eaten anything in four days. I don't know what's wrong with me. Rolf came over last night. He said the reason I hadn't eaten anything was because I needed blood. Who, who, the vampires in this world are just like the the biggest trolls. Just like, I'm I'm just gonna make someone a vampire and just fucking peace out like tuxedo mask. Like, what the fuck? Like, why why would you turn someone into a vampire and just be like, ah, they'll figure it out. Like, what the fuck? He said, he, he said it was a, all I could eat now that I wouldn't feel hungry anymore if I drank some. He had a bag of it from the local blood bank. I tried to refuse, but I couldn't. What's happening to me? Oh, so vampires can't. Well, just because they don't need to eat doesn't mean they can't eat, right? Hmm. Rolf said he's going to leave to leave soon. He said people are trying to force him out of the country. He didn't say anything about about taking me with him. I had to bail Rolf out of jail today. He was <laughs> this is the worst vampire sire. He was arrested because his visa expired. He looked frightened. I'm afraid he's going to leave. I haven't seen or heard from Rolf since the, light, the night I bailed him out. I don't know what to do. I thought he cared about me. Why did he do this to me? I talked with this guy I met in the Surfside until five. Okay, so this was done to Rolf, and then Rolf did it to you, and then you did it to the Surfside guy, and then the Surfside guy is going to do someone. Else. Else. When I told him I had to go, I felt like Cinderella. He seemed like a prince. I met that guy from Surfside again. He had no idea what I am. I, I brought E, the guy from the Surfside, back to my apartment last night. He said he's going back to Australia in a few days now that the tournament's coming to an end. This is a long diary. I don't want him to leave. I've never felt this way about someone before, not even Ralph. E kissed me last night, and I couldn't stop myself from biting into his neck, but I drank too much, and I gave him my blood to save him. When I explained it all to him, he said he never wanted to see me again. What have I done? I haven't been able to feed since that night with E. I'm afraid of what will happen. I remember Rolf brought, brought blood from the, the blood bank. Maybe I can sneak in. I can grab a few bags and get out before anyone catches me. All right, do we have to go to the blood bank now? Oh, now we have to go to the blood bank. God damn it. Have you seen that 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 shitty uh, clip from some shitty uh, Steven Seagal movie when he's watching TV and like the villain is 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 on the TV and and he's like we're gonna take the city all the way to the bank and then Steven Seagal like does his stu stupid fucking Steven Seagal voice he's like I'll t I'll take you to the bank Senator the blood bank. <laughs> Every time I see fucking blood bank. <laughs> there was also a movie that uh, Lily and I watched because we were just cracked up laughing. That it was like Steven Seagal trying to help this this woman who I guess ends up being a love interest find find her dad. And the way Steven Seagal kept saying, kept calling her dad, daddy, was just hilarious. It wasn't sexual or anything like that. It was like, we, I will help you find your daddy. <laughs> he just kept saying it. It was fucking great. All right, where are we going? Are we going to the blood bank? I will help you find your daddy. Oh, this is our apartment. Oh, wait, we're, didn't we have to go into someone's apartment?
Maybe it wasn't here. Well, looks like the boards are lighting up. Let's see. Do 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 Did you get your blackmail money yet? Oh we blackmailed the doctor accidentally. We're we're an accidental blackmailer, I remember that. Hold on. Let's see. Another look containing a bit of cash. Oh man, a bit of cash. That's a very uh British way of saying that. Or as the British say British, British. If you've ever wondered why um, I don't really pronounce my T's very clearly, it's because I, I am British. Whenever I try to, to be more forceful with pronouncing my T's, it just sounds forced. It sounds fake to me. It sounds bad. Alright, where's the fucking blood bank? Oh, there it is. Medical. Aren't the British supposed to like tea? Exactly, you would think so. It works for Canada, right? Because Can Canadians say A all the time, and how do you spell Canada? C-A-N-A-D-A. -A. This is the tattoo. We're in the wrong place. All right. All right, how are you doing? Okay, you're not doing very well. I told you, I will get to you when I can. Please take a seat. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go talk to um, creepy, uh, creepy guy and say, "Hey, did someone here, someone else come here for blood?" That Canada joke is not my joke, by the way. I'm pretty sure I heard that joke from a cartoon show called Bobby's World. That's where I know that joke, and I'm, I'm guessing that that's not an original joke on that show either. All right, hey, is fucking hell? He's so creepy. Need a fix? I need to get into the back room. Employees only. Them's the rules of the queen bitch herself. Queen bitch. All right, I'm gonna ask queen bitch, and then I'm gonna say it's okay. The queen bitch gave me her, his. Uh, okay, let's see if he falls for it. Now serving number 75. Number 75. It's okay, Queen Bitch. She did, huh? Queen Bitch told me never to let anyone back there. I remember her repeating it over and over in that cold, pretentious voice of hers. So, are you going to let me in or what? Go ahead, call her. You don't want to disappoint her, do you? Now serving number oh, 75. That was the wrong thing to say. Number 75. Okay, well, that was a bus. I thought for sure I was going <laughs> to fucking... Uh, I thought for sure it'd be something here, but I guess we just explore now, and I think we're going to learn something about the game here. If there's now something here, you weren't here. Who are you? What are you doing back here? I want the passcode to the freezer. Those are both excellent questions. I want the passcode to the freezer. Oh, boy. Uh, I can't give that out. You're gonna have to leave. Fucking glamour him. Now that you've seen me, I can't let you live. Freeze! Bless you. Blah blah! I deleted your emails! All right. So I'm guessing that in this game, there are characters and things that appear only if you are on the quest and you cannot interact with them or even see them until you have the appropriate quest, which is not the best thing. But, I guess it's alright. Uh, 
Right, these can't be picked. Uh, what if there's like a new thing on the computer? Uh, have I broken the game by threatening that guy with death and then not following through? Okay. Code. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, 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 I'm mad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, what the fuck did that do? Greetings, fellow vamp. Hunger. I need it. A drop of it on my tongue, sliding down my throat. The hot flash in my brain lighting up my body. I can smell it everywhere. Blood. <clears throat> oh, that was subtle. Alright, what happened to you? Who are you? Let me go. It's painful. Like I'm going to die. It's calling. Never felt like this before. Let me go. I can smell it. I have to have it. Hold still. I'll let you go. Calm down. Tell me who you are. What's it worth to you? What will you give me for letting you go? Calm down. Tell me who you are. Let me go. Hold still. I'll let you go. Huh? Huh? Why are we sliding back? You don't okay. look well at all. Oh, sweet mother of God. <laughs> Oh, good thing we didn't kill him. Oh, you just lost a humanity point. <laughs> the heat. Mm -mm. It's never been so satisfying. All of it. I drank until I heard his heart stop, and I was sucking on a dry, dead artery. It was euphoric. Oh, you're a redditor, okay. But I've... I've... killed him. I've never killed anyone before. What happened? What came over me? Calm down. Tell me who you are. The beast took over. It happens. Beast? What is that? Why couldn't I stop myself? Why did it feel so right? Let me tell you about the ways of the vampire. Wow, you sure know a lot. How long have you been a vampire? Yesterday. Shh, calm down, it's all right. I tried to steal some blood. I heard they sold it. I was hungry, and I can't hunt in town. They caught me, and I was trapped. Trapped. Thought I'd never escape, but I killed a man. I have to get out of here. Who are you? My name is Lily. Hi, Lily. Lily, you're the one E told me about. E? You know E? I... How do you know E? E and I go way back. I said I'd help him. What do you know about Thin Bloods? I tried to tell E about his condition, but he was so furious at me for what I'd made him into, he wouldn't listen. A Thin Blood, from what I've been told, is a vampire whose blood is weaker than most. Go on. Rolf, my sire, told me some vampires consider Thin Bloods a bad omen and want them destroyed. Rolf wasn't a Thin Blood, and apparently I am. I don't know why. Rolf abandoned me. His group wouldn't take me in. They said I was a liability. He left me with so many questions. And I did the same thing to E. But I didn't want to leave E. 
He forced me out of his life. I... I should go. I have to get out of here. Maybe out of the city. Soon. What, what is a thin blood then? It's just someone who doesn't take the vampirism very well? Or you should go see E. He said he forgives you. He wants to see you. E doesn't hate me anymore? E doesn't. No. No. Quite the opposite. You should talk to him. I'll go see him. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Yeah, there you go. You're welcome. Oh, about tonight, what I did. Please, don't tell E. It's not my fault. I couldn't control it. I've never done anything like this before. I'm no killer. Okay, the eye thing makes me think that you're lying, but okay. Alright. Yusuke doesn't tell lies. I promise, Lily. Not your, not your fault. You can help it. Goodbye. I can't move. Oh, now I can. Alright. It just slid me over there, and then I couldn't move. Alright. Laundry. Alright, was was that the guy that Oh good thing we didn't kill him. What if we had killed him? Would someone else come in? I don't know why he's so funny, but he is. All right, uh, should we <laughs> should we level up security or should we save up for another point in dexterity? We need eight. Let's see how fast they come. Talk to him. Okay, maybe this is a game where I should listen to try a little bit for some things because fucking hell, man, like. Hey, now now a flag has been triggered. Did you have to go and let that bitch out? There's one less fill in the world now. Why'd you have to let her go and eat him, huh? No, I'll never get to do in that bastard myself. Well, you know what? No blood for you. No more. You're lucky. If I hadn't freed her, her friends were going to shoot up the place. I don't need your blood, not when I know how you're getting it. Let's do number one. That's interesting. A missed opportunity. Guns make people cocky. They never appreciate what a skilled hand married to a knife can do. All you have to do is get close enough to cut off the trigger finger. Wow. Or their face. You like to talk, don't you? I want to hear a story. Tell me, what's the best way you violenced up someone? I want to hear every grisly detail. If I like your story, I'll sell you some blood. I'm no killer. Blood comes from out of the living. From all kinds in a red torrent. The crimson seep at the speed of a heartbeat. For each drop, a teeny bit of life shed. You don't care how it's got, as long as it is. You'll be begging for it, and not getting any. Yeah, whatever. Okay. All right. Three's binding. Okay, need nine. All right, I don't think we have nine. Lock picking two. So I think we get plus five from the blood thing, right? So if we did that, we would have three. Yeah. Okay, we could we could get that. But, uh, no, we still couldn't do it. We have eight. Unless it's like, do you get more points from security? Like, do you get? All right, we should go talk to E. Um, I want I want to do the carnival thing. That seems interesting to me. I wish Blue Point remade this. <laughs> uh, they're making a sequel, but uh, I think the lead writer got fired, and that was like the person who was really pushing for the project, so that doesn't bode well, but who knows why they got fired.
the sequels in development hell? Let me tell you. Let me tell you a secret. All games development go through hell. All right. Let's see what goes on here. Yep. Still not my Lily. All right. What's up? Hi. How to go with E? This life's been hard on him, both of us, but he forgives me. We're leaving soon. I have some family with a place out in the middle of nowhere in Oregon. It should be okay for us to stay out there, as long as we're together. Vampires in love, you guys make a great airport paperback. Good luck to both of you. Bye, Lily. You can stay out of trouble. Bye. Good luck to both of you. Hey, how'd the unicorn blood go? I think I have enough for the procedure now. Thanks for the blood. Enjoy. Fucking mayhem, bro. I know, right? E e evening. M mur murder. No, no, I, I wasn't here when it happened. Thanks, Porky. Aw, that's a that's mean. Hi. Brought my Lily back. She told me all about what happened. I don't know why you helped this, but your blood's worth bottling. I'll never let her go again. Thank you. You're welcome. We're gonna be getting out of LA soon. Too dangerous here. Rosa told us something big's about to happen, and I don't want to be here when the jack comes out of the box. Take that for what you will. I'll think about that. Thanks, E. Good luck. Jack comes out of the box on the sound of that. Goodbye, E. If the shit house goes up in flames, it'll probably be my fault. C. E. Number two. All right, did we get experience for that? We did. All right, Rosa, what's this about a, a jackbox? I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Okay, Pan Am. All right, I have a few more questions about my future. Then ask again. No, I'm good. Okay, is that it? Like... Huh, that seems a bit, like, hmm... I guess we could have extorted them for money, so that's why. Okay, so... I don't know about the Regents Riddle, that seems a bit cryptic to me. Um, maybe I don't have enough information. Alright, so I think we should go back to the Asylum and push that. Do, 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 do. Uh, who's last person I said thank you to? Um, definitely say thank you to Ryan. Uh, I think I said thank you to, to Zalek22 and Citizen Mono. But just in case, thank you, thank you again for the resub, Zalek22. Thank you, Citizen Mono, as well, for the 15 month resub. Thank you, Call Me Napalm, for the new sub. Welcome. Thank you, Solomy, for the six month resub. Thank you, Jokawa, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Jokawa. Thank you, Cat Hands, for the 38 month resub. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Calm908, for the 37 month resub. Holy shit. Uh, thank you, Best Girl, Growling Girl, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Namarin, for the 25 month resub. Thank you, Vault13, for the 3 month resub. Thank you, Cactus13200, for the 4 month resub. Some Jabroni, for the 33 month resub. Always fun to say your name. Thank you, McBass, for the 212, for the 2 month resub. Thank you, Hen tentacles. What could that mean for the 513 sub? Thank you very much. And thank you, Bunny in Boots 24. Awesome visual for the 18 month 3 sub. Thank you. Your sub got eaten by Chan Light Chan. Sorry about that. Thank you for the resub by Chan Light Chan. Uh oh. Oh, we're good. Okay.
Um... Since I walked in here, I haven't been able to take my eyes off of you. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, my dream is beautiful. All right, so I'm guessing that there's a bunch of people that you can flirt with and you can just take their blood for free. Hey, man. Hey, Nox, what's going on? Yeah, not much. Just waiting around for my master. The master can, you can talk about? How's your mission going? Oh, man, not good. That's why I'm waiting to talk to him. Why don't you tell me who he is? Okay, okay. I guess I can tell you about it. Oh man, his name's Bertram Tongue. He's a Nosferatu. Nice, no kidding, small world. I'm looking for him. Oh man, I wish I knew where he was. I'm getting antsy waiting around for him. I need to tell him some stuff, you know? I don't know where he is or stays or anything. Oh man, I... Whenever he needs me, just, you know, appears. He's right behind you. He's right there. Uh, so I can't really do anything about the sound right now. Like the, the music's too loud for the conversation, but like there's no there's no um, there's no audio settings that I can mess with, unfortunately. So what's going on with your mission? Oh man! Wow, Bertram had me keeping an eye on this guy. This Asian dude has been poking around Santa Monica. Well, some thought he might be a vampire or something like a vampire. I don't know. Tell me about this Asian dude. What's this, what's the problem? Oh man, this guy, this, this thing, got wise to me. You now instead of me watching him, he's watching me. You know? I see this guy appear around me all the time, like in the distance, watching me walk up next to me. Oh man! Oh, it was him. He was right there. So he's about your story seems a little off, Knox. Oh, what are you saying? Don't bullshit me, ghoul. Come clean. Look, Nox, tell the truth, and I might help. Okay, what's green? Green is intimidate. Oh, he's back. All right, and I guess blue is uh, persuade. I think we're good at persuasion, aren't we? What? How did you know? Oh, look. Oh, man. I don't know what you're talking about, eh? Anyway, why should I tell you anything, huh? I mean, you're not being straight with me. I am. Okay, okay, okay. Damn it. Damn. Alright, look, I messed up, okay? I'm just doing what I was told, though. Bertram knew you were coming. He knew you'd come by here. He planted me and told me what to say about the Asian thing, but it's true. I swear, everything else is true, too. This Asian guy needs to be taken out. Do it. Bertram needs you, too. You could have just asked me. I don't know. Why would, it, why would I want to do your favor after this? Okay, number one. Nah, I stick his neck out like that. He doesn't feel directly. His way, I guess. He's so I don't know. Why would I want to do a favor after this? Seriously, no, really. This thing is here and it's bad news for all of us. Bertram says there could be an army of them show up any day unless we show them we need business. An army of Asian dudes? Fine, I'll take care of it. Hell yeah! Right on! Okay, like I said, he's some kind of Asian vampire thing, you know? The only clue I got is this driver's license that he dropped once while I was tailing him. I've been so freaked out that I haven't even had a chance to check it out. Driver's license? Shouldn't that tell you who he is? No. Wish I could read. The picture on the license isn't him. I don't know why he had it, but, well, it might help you find out where he is and what he's what, doing. What was the red thing that just flashed on the screen? Alright, I'll take care of it. Right on! Just come back and let me know the job's done so I can stop freaking out. Oh, man. Maybe I'll see Bertram by then. Oh, the rare somber. Oh man. Oh man, yeah, sure. What do you want to know? So what is Bertram like? Oh man, well, he's like the only vampire I know, but well, he seems pretty damn powerful. Oh man, when he's looking at you, it's like he's really crazy. But I guess that's the no oh, man. They like know everything. Is he good at computers? How does he get in touch with you? It's crazy! It just appears out of like thin air! First time you BAM! Like give me a goddamn heart attack! Especially <laughs> oh, how he looks. <laughs> the first time, so why did he choose you? Bertram says you needed someone to do something. Oh man, you've been watching me work with the bounty hunter for a while. Bam! Oh man, it's so cool. It's like a job promotion, only I get to like live forever and stuff. That's cool. I gotta go now. Later. Yo, dude, you do that thing yet? No, damn, not yet. Dude, damn! Oh, damn! I was really hoping you had. Let me know when you do. 
Actually, a few more questions. Do you like being a ghoul? It's awesome! Man, after that first date the vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh man, I'm telling you. Alright, we did this already. Alright, uh, I'm out of here later. Alright. Oh, please say the music's done. Uh, get some for you, Chief. Fuck. I'm on the wagon. I don't drink alcohol. I'm looking for Therese. Know where I can find her? Therese? She's upstairs. She said she had business to attend to, but I can hear her and Jeanette bickering from here. Why do you need to see her? I called earlier about the bartending job they need to fill right away. <laughs> what? Are you serious? I've been that bitch last 15 years, and now she's replacing me? Well, you can take the elevator over there and we'll tell her she can kiss my ass. I'm out of here. Sorry, I had to be willing to tell you. Bye. Alright, there's gonna be no repercussions of that. Like I said, go on up to see three. The elevator's over there. Wait, did we need his permission to push the button? Because I tried to push the button earlier, didn't I? And... Now this is cyberpunk. Your city? Last time I looked, it was called Santa Monica, not stuck up bitch. In case you guys couldn't hear the, hear the line, she said, Your city, last I checked, it was called Santa Monica, not stuck up bitch. <laughs> Look at you sometimes. Concealing that dirty, diseased mind. Sin! You have no sin. <laughs> Let's see who is without sin past the fierce tone. Go ahead and mock me. You pull your pranks, make fun of my ways. It suits you. You're just one big joke. Don't you call me that. Should I start calling a duck a pig as well? I'm your sister. How can you treat me like this? That's it, you know. Run away from the truth. I'll take care of everything, as always. Does the door open now? Oh, it's unlocked now. Okay. I hope no unsavory characters trying to approach. So dirty. Please come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. Alright, is this the one we spoke to downstairs and she changed into this, or are they twins? I'm guessing they're twins? If you say so, I guess that means you're Therese. Jeanette, she was no trouble. Nonsense. She's nothing but. Okay, so they're twins. Alright, are you Therese? Therese Vorman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? You, baby. I need to call... call you call the feud with Bertram Tongue. I thought Jeanette owned the club. Jeanette is the freak show I keep around to lure in curiosity seekers. She's very good with the clientele, but her business skills are approximate to those of a four-year-old with a one-dollar bill and a five-and-dime. Nice. I need to call off the feud with, with Bertram Tongue. Tongue's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so... unclean. Whoa, they're really good with computers, though. They can... the fucking tech support? You have a laptop over there. What if you need help? Who are you gonna call? You have to call <laughs> the Nosferatu scoundrel. Uh, I have a problem with my computer. Uh, yeah, it won't turn on. Uh, yeah, I, I tried pl plugging it in. Uh, yeah, I restarted it too. Uh, Alright, can you come over tomorrow? Uh, Alright, thank you. Alright, your phone is still good. <laughs> hmm. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with tongue have been swept under the rug. 
But in return, you'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. Another goddamn waste of my time. Glad a spirit. You mean a ghost? Oh, I forgot. You're still new to this. Allow me to break you in. Oh, she knows who we yes, are. Yes, ghosts exist. Werewolves, mummies, and I'd expect a whole lot of other things I've never seen share the night with us. There's a, There are mummies? Oh, I hope we see a mummy. I don't have time for this Halloween bullshit. Sure, I'll do it. What do I have to do to get rid of the ghost? Rumor is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. Okay. I'll do it if you promise to call it the feud. What if I can't find one? And what if I can't find one? If you have to tear the building apart, do so. Three construction crews have already refused to go back to work because they've been spooked, so to speak. Oh man, it's this is a video game, so it will be fine. Don't worry. I'll do it if you promise to call off the feud. How do I fight a ghost? You don't. They're perfectly harmless. Why don't you go that? Yeah. As much as I'd like to ensure it's done properly, you're in no position to refuse. That is, if you still want me to call off the feud. Okay. She has a nice oh, voice. Oh, I fully intend to do so. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. Business is that what it's called when a dog fetches a stick? I can respect that. I appreciate it. Goodbye. Let's be respectful. Before I forget, take this. The only way to reach the ocean house this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel. Oh, we haven't really explored the sewers. Yeah, we should go do that. Sewers, you can't seriously any way through such filth. Nah, we've already been down there, you skate, if that's what it takes to get the job done. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. And I have emails to delete. Dun, 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 dun. Dun 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 Ah, god damn it! Queen, bitch. Password failed. Uh, capital Queen, bitch. Queen, bitch. Queen underscore bitch. No, okay. The Asylum. No. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. I think it would make her angry anyway. We're like, we're hacking right in front of her. Why do you hate Bertram Tongue? He meddles in my affairs. He's a bad influence on my sister and she on him. If you were in my place, would you let him compromise your authority? You most certainly would not. I'd quite like it if I never had to hear that name again. Tell me more about your twin sister, Jeanette. Jeanette is the freak show I keep around to lure in curiosity. I've got a few more questions. Tell me about your sister. Uh, is that the same line? Jeanette. Yeah. What am I supposed to do to be doing the Ocean House Hotel? Rumor is that a personal item of a ghost may be you. Yeah. All right. Did they just jiggle? Or is that like her clothes stretching? Rock me Amadeus. Amadeus. No. Dr. Zeus, Dr. Zeus. Do 
Thank you, Flying Machine 29, for the uh, new sub with Prime. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Flying Machine 29. And thank you, Drusta, for the 500 bits. Thank you very much, Drusta. <laughs> nice night out, huh? Yeah, nice night for a drink. All right, let's explore the sewers because we did not explore the sewers properly last time we were down here. All right, so I would like a starting point. This is the map that you can interact with, and you are here. All right, so G. So to the left is this, this end, so I'm guessing that's the left. Access point G. All right, there we go. So that's G. Okay, we're good. All right, uh, thank you, Phoenix Sun, for the three-month resub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Phoenix Sun. Uh, so this is G. So that's the orientation we have on the map now. So if we go behind us, we're gonna pass 10, 11, 12, which are medical clinic. Oh, this is a cool map. Seymour's Coffee and Gallery Noir. Can we get into Gallery Noir? All right, E takes us to somewhere upstairs. All right. So, so far, I really like that the game isn't throwing quest markers and shit at me, that I can, like, actually find out where to go in, in the game itself. I miss it when games did that. Do you know how much of the city in Cyberpunk I've missed because I'm just staring at the minimap, just going vroom, 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 vroom? Like, like it's too big. In Witcher 3, you could turn it off, but, like, you need the map to play that game. Like, you can't play it without it. Like, you're constantly just opening the map and looking at the map and just being like, okay, where am I going now? It just, it makes it worse. Whoa, what the fuck is going on with the... Alright, that's E. Alright, there's gotta be a way to, like, break in through, huh? Like, why go through all the trouble of showing... I guess it, it doesn't have to be all the trouble, it's just, like, that's how this map would look, right? F. Would F take us somewhere? Let's go find out. Do you know what games, like, um, I think do that well and still have some quest markers or anything? They still have this issue, but do, but do it better. I think Bethesda's open world games do a pretty good job of letting you find shit just by wandering around and looking at landmarks and going, oh cool, I want to go over there, I want to see that. Like you don't you don't have to look at the map, but you, you can if you want. Um, also the, the little thing shows up on the compass instead of showing you where it was and it's like, oh okay, there's something interesting over there, I'm going to wander in that direction and I'll find it. And you get to inspect the area and see, okay, what's the interesting thing around it, you know what I mean? Like not perfect by any means. And I think Cyberpunk could do that, but the issue with Cyberpunk has as well. Well, is that there's just so many landmarks on the screen you go over and there's nothing there it's like the content is just sprinkled fucking like completely randomly it seems on these like little alleyways and like clearings within the places and like you go and see these big huge things like oh there must be something interesting over there you drive over there and there's nothing it's just that eh, it's just there you know what I mean like sorry my, my like half of my life is cyberpunk right now so it's on my mind all right So this should take us back to um, the map here. All right, so we did a full circle much faster than I thought. All right, because that's F. So, oh, wait, 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 wait. Did we go down the other way? I think we did. All right, so we can go down to B, and B takes us into Bale Bonds, or right next to Bale Bonds. And then there's the Ocean House Hotel. Okay, so there's not really much down to do. I thought there would be like a secret area down here that you could get to. Maybe there is. Maybe this is where um, uh, Bertram is hanging out. 
because he's a stinky Nosferatu. Okay, so this just takes us outside of Bail Bonds. Alright, I thought there might be a sewer access to some of the buildings, but I guess not. I hate every chimp I see, from chimpan A to chimpanzee, but you finally made a monkey. Yes, you finally made a monkey. God, this is the fucking best moment in all Simpsons. It's so funny. It's so funny, it makes me mad. That's how fun- it's just- it's just perfect. It's just perfect, I can't believe how good it is. It's one of those things that's only just gotten funny- funnier as I get older. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, so we have to go in and get some personal item of a ghost that is haunting this hotel. It definitely looks haunted. For some reason, Chad is excited. Wait. Le There's actually a, a furniture uh, store in Canada called Leon's. Keys. We're only taking one key. All right. Woo! Good team. Ah! Like and subscribe. Isn't Leon's a furniture brand? Yeah, it is. AI disabled. It show it, it's um they compete with uh with Bad Boy. Who's better than Bad Boy? Nobody. That's a joke for for Toronto people only. Tin can. For people in Toronto, is uh, is um the cash man still going? There's gotta be at least someone here that's in, that's living in Toronto. That hurt, didn't it? Oh, was that the vase? Russell Oliver, that's his name. All right then. Elevator, more like elevator. Eight. Uh, can we get eight? We have th two, and we can get security, which gives us three, and then the buff gives us five, unless I misunderstood how the buff works. There was some, like, minimum there, wasn't it? Does the minimum, does that mean it brings up our skill to a minimum of five, it doesn't boost it by five, or... Like, if I'm above five, will it not do shit? The 
the buff gives you five decks. Oh, okay. If I'm already at five decks, will it not give me anything? Oh, no. God, I hope at the end of this it's not even a ghost. I hope it's just like someone fucking- Ah, oh, it's a ghost, okay. Well, this is kind of neat. Hotel Hell. Child's severed head found in hotel laundry room. Oh man, that's not good for business. Oh, that's where we were. Okay. God, no doorknob. Terrifying. Oh, what if we find like a a computer and the emails have already been deleted? I thought there was gonna be like a severed head in there. Who are you, spooky guy? Oh, I thought we were gonna fight. Okay. Hmm. Vampire playing the piano. All right, so now the elevator's working. All right, did we m miss anything down here? Let's see. We went through there. We went down there and went and looped around, and we saw the newspaper. We went through here. And I don't think we went down here. All right, that loose bound up to the. I think we did everything. Okay. All right. <laughs> Going down. <laughs> Where's Peter Pumpkins? All right, here we go. Terrifying. Oh, what's your story? No, I don't want to answer. I want to go to. Ah, oh, god damn it! What is that noise? Alright, we're not getting through that. Okay, do these stairs work? These stairs work. Can we jump over the, the gap? Oh, it won't even let us go down that way. Okay, so if we had gone... Are you gonna hit me, spooky vase? Yep, there we go. Alright, if we had gone left first, would we have fallen on the left side? Does it change? Because that would be pretty cool. Aha! Oh, god damn it. Because that would be funny. That would be funny, like, the second time you play this and you're like... 
<laughs> no, you're not getting me next time. <laughs> and then, boom, you're like, God damn it. <laughs> Alright, elevator. So this goes up. Dad, like, really did well for himself, huh? Good job. Good job, Dad. He married up. All right. God, oh, fuck off. This is the worst thing in here. Okay. Who are they? Upstairs key. I think it's some part of the downstairs that we didn't um, we didn't explore because we went up the stairs early. Let's see, we went over here, right, to the elevator. Oh, the elevator links this part with with upstairs. Okay. So we went over here and we looked here. I like this hotel. I would stay here. I like the big curtains and the big windows. This is a, this is a nice hotel. All right, elevator also links there. Alright, can we get into there with the stairs? That looks like a thing that we can do. Thank you. All right. Wait, wasn't this the one we could open too? Oh, we already opened this one. All right, did we went in here? Yeah, we went in here. Okay, is there anything under here? All right, so there was a fire. Oh, now we're down into the bar where we were just hearing the, the, uh, the speaking. All right. Murder, suicide, ocean house killer, possibly responsible for inferno. Disco inferno? Look at all the bottles. Rum. Oh, it's one of these spooky service elevators. All right, here we go. Where are we going? Sorry. Help me. Okay. We will try. Confinders license the name of the license is Virgil Crumb. Wasn't Okay, never mind. Alright, this is the charter remains of what looks like a diary. Uh, 1958? What? Just arrived here at the Ocean House. We have a week-long holiday here in Santa Monica, and Ed has, has booked us a room for the hotel's grand opening. 
It's a wonderful place, almost magical. The children have been swimming all afternoon. The first two days have been almost perfect, except that Ed can't seem to stop asking about the locket I received from my mother. He seems to think it was sent to me by some other admirer. Ed can be sweet, but sometimes his jealousy can get the better of him. Hopefully, he'll feel better tomorrow. Sun is out today, not a cloud in the sky. Ed seems a little on edge, keeps guessing as to who my new boyfriend is. Silly Ed. There was a picnic for the hotel guests this morning. Quite a grand affair. Ed is in a dark mood. I don't know what I can do to reassure him that he is my one and only love. The only time he seemed to brighten up was when he was speaking to the groundskeeper. Boys and their tools. <sighs> Spooky groundskeeper. We only have two days left and thank god we're, go we're, we're finally going home. Is this a Shinnin reference? Ed won't speak to me or the children but I found him more than once in the bathroom holding the locket and staring at it. I'm afraid he suffered some sort of breakdown. I've told him we can go home He just shakes, his, but he just shakes his head. He won't look at me. I just want to go home. Ed left early this morning and I haven't seen him since. If I haven't seen him in, in another hour I'm going to call the hotel manager. Against my, my better wishes, Ed Jr. went to look for him down, downstairs in the basement. I'm going to send Tiffany down to fetch him if wait someone is knocking at the door and i wrote that in my diary because that's a thing people do hold on diary sorry wait someone is knocking at my door oh my god ed covered in blood time to go back to my diary to write this ed covered in blood coming to kill me locked myself in the bathroom as i scribble he's gone crazy he keeps shouting we'll be together forever and he'll never let me go someone please help the writing trials trails off the edge of the page Stephen King did this in a book once, and I laughed my ass off. Oh, god damn it. Oh man, this kitchen's really mad. Oh, cool. Where's the QTE? Okay, so that's just telling me I can push it or like I don't I don't need it though, do I? Oh no, did we just push it into the uh into the thing and now we're done? All right, are you, are you done being angry, Room? Yeah, I can do it too. <laughs> oh God. Okay, when will the vent break? I will, thank you. Oh, we're in the elevator now! Nice! Now this is Half-Life. Yep, still definitely Half-Life. Alright. Do we go down into the elevator or do we make that jump? I don't think we can make that jump. Is there fall damage? Okay, we're in. Alright. Shit. Oh, was that? Okay, let's go back and see if I missed anything somewhere. Okay, we came from here, all right? This is the starting point. Okay, we can't go through any of these doors. All right, so we are just supposed to follow. Okay. Oh, no, there are doors we can go into. Oh, man, the contractors are going to have a lot of work after we're done. Wika Pog Thistle? This petrified reed was not meant to fall into the hands of the damned, but vampires can benefit from its shamanistic magic all the same. It increases defense by one point. Just just by having it, or do I have to use it? That's 
cool. I like it when you can find things in games that upgrade your stats just by just by having it. Oh, now we're on the other side. Shit. Okay. So that's where we have to follow, I think. So what's over here? Murders unsolved. The mother or father could have been Ocean House Killer. sweat I guess it depends the vampires need to drink water if vampires don't have to drink water then they probably don't sweat and if they don't sweat then they don't have to take showers as much they still do obviously but not as much all right that looked like something we we're supposed to do yeah okay Ghost smoke? It hurts. Yeah, that's definitely where to go. Okay. Seriously, at this point, just knock it down and build a new one. Oh, we're gonna die. Right, can we just wait and get our health back for a bit? Yeah, let's get some of our health back. Thank you, Hammerin, for gifting a sub to Not So Big Iron. Big Iron. Thank you, Hammerin. Uh, and then welcome, Not So Big Iron. And thank you, Smitty W, for the 38 month resub. Thank you, Rex, Smitty W. 310. I finished watching H Bomber Guy's uh, New Vegas video, by the way, and it was really good. Probably one of the, one of the best kind of kind of those videos I've seen on YouTube. Oh, that was cool. We have the Metal Gear Solid 3 song. Pendant. Okay, so I'm guessing that is the item of personal belonging that we need to grab. The exquisite pendant looks polished, though it was found in the charred ruins of the ocean house. When you hold it in your palm for a few seconds, you're overwhelmed with a sense of profound sadness. Okay, so I'm guessing that now we can go back to uh, whatever her name is. Oh, that's nice. Thanks. All right, and um, I guess we drop down on the ladder. What if we just fell? Oh, we're good. All right, can we get into this elevator? No. And that will lure the ghosts out. All right. No gotcha sequence at the end here. Ah, 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 ah. 
Were these here before? Okay, all right, that was pretty cool. Don't I miss anything in there? Check the diary. I read it already. You discovered a journal in the ocean house spoke according to its contents. A jealous husband murdered his wife and family because of a locket. The murderous ghost of the husband of the husband means to keep her trapped here forever with him and seems to be trying to help you find a way to free her. You retreat the Oh. Oh shit. Alright, well you can highlight it. How do I do that? Did I miss something in there, or do do I have to, like, make a choice when I take the pendant back? Isn't isn't the pendant going to lure the ghost out and that'll solve the problem, or, or what? I don't, I don't know. I feel like I did everything back there. My unofficial patch is where they okay. Well, the game is really old, so like, what do you mean? What did, what did they are they adding new things? Because if they're adding new things, I'd rather not, um, I'd rather not play it like that the first time. Like, I would, I would rather like play what it, what just the fixes, and then if there's one that like adds some new shit to it, then I would, I would uh, play that afterwards. It's cut content and bug fixes. Okay, well this this is this is running just fine. I think this is okay. And then if I play it again, then I'll add I'll add the updated patch to it. I already have it downloaded. It's ready. This is very playable to me. Like I, this isn't a chore to play at all. Like this is surprisingly playable. So I'm cool with this. I was just having naughty thoughts about you. You made quite an impression earlier. Did you come up just to cheer lonely little me? Are her eyes a different color? Hey Harley, how's it going? I, actually, I brought this for Therese. Actually, need to see Therese. Yes, as a matter of fact, I did. I couldn't stop thinking about you. Ooh! <laughs> Can I see it? Of course. Here, take it. I'd rather give it to Therese. I'm not just some silly doll, you know. All my life, my sisters made me out to be a joke. She told you I was an embarrassment, didn't she? You sounded really Canadian That I couldn't Canadian tie there. my shoes, let alone hold on to something for her. Is that it? Not all. Here, take it. No, please calm down. I wouldn't give you the time of day, you crazy bitch. <laughs> no, please calm down. She's always belittling me. She's the smart one. She's the favorite. She's the successful one. Well, that's not fair. I'm not a fool. This club's success is just as much my doing as it is hers. 
You made your point, Drama Queen. Would you stop? You're driving me nuts now. I understand, but I still can't give it to you. Do you understand what it's like to have your own flesh and blood ripping you apart on a daily basis for two lifetimes? Can you? No. I'm really sorry to hear that, Jeanette, but I really need to give it to three. This is fun. Fine. You hold on to it. Yep, yeah, she was playing us. I knew mm, it. Since you were so willing to brave that big spooky place for my darling sister, how about doing a teensy tiny favor for little troubled me? What is it? That depends on what it is. Yep, yeah, cut the schoolgirl act and just tell me what the hell it is. No, forget it. I'm sick of running errands for you bitches. I'm out of here. What would put would that? What would put a smile on that face? All right, I think Yusuke would go with number two, but we'll go with number one. Do you know Gallery Noir down the street? I happen to know there's a charity event being organized there. Lots of influential Santa Monicans slithering in for token appearances. But there's one thing they don't know. The whole event's been set up by a kindred trying to establish their own power click in our city. And we can't let that happen, can we? So I need some brilliant young upstart to spoil the milk. For you? For you, anything. What do I do? Let's flirt. <laughs> I promise this won't take long. Take this knife. Whoa. Give the paintings in the gallery a good slash. No. Don't get caught. What? And don't turn it into a massacre. And steal the charity box, would you? Buy yourself something velvet. No, we're not we, we're not slashing paintings. Destroy art. I perish the thought of such odious deeds. I refuse. Farewell. Mm, pretty please. For me. Destroying art's where I draw the line. Forget it. Goodbye. Nope. Wow, that is a, a mm, I was gonna say a big jacuzzi, but is it? Where's Cerise? All right, can I take the quest to get in there and and then Hi, just not do it? Hello, sunrise. Back to burn me. Nice line. What do you need me to do? Like I had a choice. Do you know Gallery Noir down the street? I happen to know there's a charity event being organized there. The whole event's been set. up. Eight thousand tons. This isn't helping. I thought we went over this. Therese isn't here. Until he hears it from her, Bertram's like a windshield in the deep blue sea, invisible. What? <laughs> I promise this won't take long. Take this knife. Give the paintings in the gallery a good slashing. Man, I don't want to do this. And but don't turn it into. I guess we have to. And steal the chair. Fine, I'll go this fin Let's see if we can go in there and not do it. God damn it, man. Like, where's Therese? I'm sure Therese will be thrilled to honor your agreement when you get back. But in the meantime, get to the museum and ruin those paintings. Then pay me a visit. I want to hear all about it. Hurry up. I can only amuse myself for so long. Okay, I don't, I don't like you, Harley. Be back soon. Goodbye. Oh, and there was something about the paintings. Hmm, what was it? I can't remember. Oh well, have fun. Are the paintings haunted? Ooh, haunted paintings. Alright. Why can't I use the laptop? Kitties versus ducklings for my heart. All right, email. Jeanette sucks. Nope. So I guess the laptop is is uh, Jeanette's, and and this is Theresa's. Email. Queen bitch. Nope. Oh, we have uh, eight experience now. Should we get? Should we get one strength and one stamina, 
like we could get one of each and that helps us with um uh combat all this is the defense too because of the item that we have and then stamina helps us with uh bashing that's it mm, okay all right charisma gets us persuasion that gets us haggle and that gets us seduction wits gets us hacking and defense all right that gets us research and intimidate i like the idea of getting research because we can get those books um that's pretty good all right and that gets us um ranged and inspection inspection is pretty good too i like is there things that we just cannot find in the environment without it because i think so because i think that that's good all right so i like being able to to pick locks and get into and get into computers so our hacking is decent i think so how can we get that up even more Research seems better. You can find them in a stone glow? Okay. Wow, there's a lot of things to level up. Okay, we can get security up for lockpicking, and we can get something else up, or we can get dexterity and get lockpicking and sneaking up together, and I think just, just we wouldn't level anything up after that. Hmm. intelligence i want i want to get research up for when we find a book we can use it all right so is there a book that we can buy from the pawn shop now that we couldn't use before where is it is it over here the smoke shop no it was on the other side right through here <laughs> Need to accept? No, I don't think so. Maybe without the patch you do. Right? Shit. All right. Thanks for coming back. What you need? I need a book. I like to buy something. All right. Here's what we got today. Ammo. Computers for grandma. You want to shoot thing? Oh, it's a gun book. I don't give a shit about the gun book. All right, how do we get into gallery, gallery noir? I'm upset that we have to do this. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to lockpick. No, 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 cancel, 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 cancel. there i'm afraid you're committing a 351 that's trespassing on private property i'm gonna have to ask that you vacate the premises immediately or i'm afraid i'll be forced to radio this in didn't you get the call huh what call are you talking about there chief one of the artists pissed off the director so i'm gonna pull their art from the show and who might you be then chief I'm the guy that's going to plant your face in a wall if you don't let me in. I'm the museum director's assistant. Think you can let me in? What's it to you? Just let me in, damn it. Uh, intimidate. Easy, Chief. I have a Class C weapon license that allows me to carry a blunt striking implement for defensive purposes. But when things get hairy out here, and believe me, they do, I pull out the midnight special. Now, we don't want that, do we? Show me what you got, fat boy. Free. This is fine. This is fine. Yeah, we lost humanity. All right, cool. All right, well, we're reloading from that one. All right, auto save. When did we last save it?
coming out of the asylum. All right, so now we have our experience points back. All right, now nah, commit to intelligence. All right, can I pickpocket? Is there pickpocketing? Can I sneak up on him and steal his key? Dun, 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 dun. Hey, 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 hold on a minute there. Didn't you get the call? Hey. One of the artists pissed off. And who might you be? Uh, I'm using the director's assistant. Then you let me in? Yeah, that pay well. Just taking one look at you, I'd say there's a lot of money in that line of work. Me, security's in my blood. My father, father's father, my six brothers. <laughs> yeah, we're all real keen on upholding the law, like a family of Magnum P.I. That's great, but I also have a job to do. Look, uh, I'll let you in, but I'll be filing a 62A on this when I get back to the security station after my ship, just so you're aware. Oh, that was easy. I'd expect it. Better file a 45B as well, just to make sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, who wouldn't file a 45B? Huh? Everyone knows about 45B. Anyway, uh, go ahead on in, and uh, you have yourself a nice night. Oh, how are you now? See ya. Thanks. Kane meets Lilith. Yep, still not my Lily. All right. Oh, we got some money. Nice. Oh, we lost some humanity. Eh, it's worth it. Cain cursed by God. Cain spurns Lilith. Cain slays Abel. Cain become vampire. Oh. Not strong enough to move this. Wait, why can we... Oh, we could have snuck past him by breaking the bar and not having to deal with, um, with this guy. Cool. Kind of wish it gave you a warning that you're going to lose humanity when you when you take something like that. It's like what what are you going to take? You know, like does that count or something? I guess it's fine, but eh. Alright, so we have to slash these paint. Do we have to equip a knife and do that? What if we don't have a knife? Oh, did she give us a knife? Okay, I don't really want to, like, slash the paintings, but I guess this is what we have to do to, to, to progress, right? I think.
Blocking even doing anything? Not really, no. Ooh, he can teleport into us. Okay, cool. Oh, he turned into a real boy after that. Alright, good job. Welcome back, Kane. Okay, do I want to take the money? I think that was optional, right? Oh, you lose two humanity points for that. Now we're not taking the money. Alright, let's see if the knife is better. Is the knife better? Melee combat requirement. Um, I think maybe the fists are better. Maybe I should just go for it. It's gonna be close. Oh, oh, we did it. Okay, cool. Oh, it's close. Oh, three experience for that. Nice. Quest updated. Quest complete. All right, what can we level up with? Uh, we get security for lock picking. Um, do we want finance for haggle? No, I don't think so. Well, that gives us research and persuasion. How much does it cost? It only costs... An, what do you mean initial cost? Why initial cost? So the first one has initial cost? Hmm. That's kind of a weird thing to do. Alright, so I think we can get that up to three. Yeah, let's save it. See what happens. Oh, excuse me. I don't know what we are now. Let's break the vases too. Become as Todd's. Become as Todd's. Um, Alright, so we're over time for a break. Uh, I think we could just stand here and, uh, and enjoy the rain, right? Next level stream remove would be to go back and, and get a Jeanette on. Oh, there's a plane Jeanette on the screen while I'm gone. Let's do that. If you're new to town or just new to this whole race. Alright, I'll be back in five minutes. I'm gonna go use the bathroom and walk around for a bit. I suggest you do the same if you watch the stream the whole time. Who will be the lucky caller? You've got the first shot at Deb tonight. So, who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Hi, Deb. This is, uh, Vigo. Vigo? So, Vigo, why are you up so late? Um, I'm working the late shift here at the uh, 
Yacht Club? Uh-huh. How many boats do you own, Vigo? Two. Actually, three. Uh, one is uh, in the shop. I used to do a little yachting myself. What brand of yacht do you have? Um, you probably wouldn't know the brand. I, uh, bought them in Italy. Ah, la Italia bella. Parlate italiano? Um, yes. Arrivederci, Vigo. Caller two, you're on the dub of night. Be gentle. I yep. Hello, caller. I yep. Is tonight a rerun? Yep. Caller number three, what's keeping you up tonight? Deb, listen to me, Deb. They're at it again and people have got to know. They've got to know because they don't know. They won't report this stuff on the news because they own the news. Hello, Gomez. What's the latest conspiracy? Conspiracy? This goes beyond conspiracy, okay? There's no word for something as devious and secret as this, you understand? The people need to hear this. They need to know the real story. You've got our undivided attention. All right. As we all know, the Americans established a moon base back in the late 70s. That's no secret. What most people don't know is that they have been conducting a dig. Not for resources, but for artifacts. I see. Well, it's no coincidence that the Chinese have started conducting space missions. You know why? I'll tell you why. The reason is because the Chinese are trying to stop the Americans from finding an ancient space probe sent by the Beta Centaurians. And why? Because the Beta Centaurians are giving space technology to the Chinese to get back at the Andromedans, a.k.a. the Greys, for giving space technology to the Americans in the 50s. Fascinating. American government's been putting more money into space. Don't you see what's happening? I can't believe I'm the only one that's figured it out. Am I the only person alive that can see what's going on? It's because the Andromedans and the Betas are going to be fighting their war in this galaxy through us, Deb. And the American people, the people of Earth, you people, cannot let this happen. It's Moon versus at last all over again. Thank you, Gomez. And that concludes the news portion of the show. Well, this girl's got to pay her bill, so it's time for a few commercials. But don't go anywhere. I'm just getting warmed up. Should I say hot? Friggin' Chicken recently challenged several random people to a taste test between Friggin' Chicken and the other leading chicken flavored products. Let's listen for which one they preferred. Ma'am, care to participate in a taste test? Here, try this leading brand of chicken. Oh, oh my gosh! Is that weak old fish? Now, try this. Oh, oh this is some good f chicken! What is this? Sir, take a test for me? Sure. Um, oh, oh, oh. seriously, draw these up there. Here, try this one. Mm. Hey, mm. motherfucking great chicken right there. What is this? It's friggin' chicken. This is cat, right? Are you feeding me cat? Try this. Holy fuck. Fuck, that's good. What the fuck is this? Shit? Nine out of ten people preferred friggin' chicken over the competition. Why? Because that's some good fucking chicken. I mean,. Friggin' chicken. Friggin' chicken, you'll swear it's the best you've ever had. You love the talking baby movie, and the talking pig, and even the talking car in that show. You know the one I'm talking about. But now prepare for the most hilarious talkingest normally mute object yet. He's Steve Cash, a New York banker and recent whittler down on his luck. And ten makes one hundred. Here's your money, ma'am. Ma'am, I happen to have a granular problem. That's it. I'm withdrawing all my millions from this bank. Cash! She's an ATM machine with the soul of his dead wife. There's something familiar about this ATM machine. I love you. Wow, those marketing guys are geniuses. Together, they're learning to make the most of their special situation. So that girl from accounting used me today. Really? She wasn't like everybody else. When she pushed my buttons, she was very gentle. Oh, honey, if you don't stop, I'm going to have to make a deposit. Transferring cash. Wednesdays at 8.30 in the BMC. Say goodbye to yellow teeth and spots in your dirty dishes. It's incredible. Look at that shine. Your smile or these dinner plates? <laughs> Harnessing the secrets of ancient Egypt, now there's a dishwashing detergent so powerful, it doesn't just leave your dishes spotless, it actually whitens your teeth. Patented timely spirit toys remove caked on food and grease and remain on the plate to be absorbed into your food to clean your teeth while you eat. Dazitron, the dishwashing detergent of the future for cleaner plates and whiter teeth. Last year, Democratic candidate Michael Redmond bought a sports utility vehicle. Three months later, there were two separate incidences of hit and runs by an unidentified SUV in his area. Is Democratic candidate Michael Redmond to blame? Can you afford to take that chance? Can your children? Vote Republican Senator Robert Thorne, a candidate that has never committed vehicular homicide. Democratic candidate Michael Redmond has never publicly stated his opinion on child pornography. Is it because he's hiding something? Would you want a child pornographer voting on this nation's laws? 
How do you trust your children's future to someone like that? Vote Republican Senator Robert Thorne, the candidate that is committed to locking up child pornographers. Democratic candidate Michael Revins recently sued Senator Robert Thorne for accusing Revins of being a murderous child pornographer. But Revins had previously said he was against clogging up courts with frivolous lawsuits. Wouldn't this make him a hypocrite? Would you want a hypocrite as your next congressman? Would you want your children to become hypocrites? Vote Republican Senator Robert Thorne, a candidate not accused of being a murderous child pornographer. In a world where people live. In a world where people live? What did I miss? Was it good? Thank you, Rifleman, for the new sub. Welcome, Rifleman. Welcome, welcome. And thank you, Rithian or Rithian, for the two month resub as well. Thank you. And a comic relief sidekick who won't make it to Act 3. I picked the wrong month to cancel my life insurance. No, don't say that. You're gonna make it. With a guy from that <laughs> other movie that was slightly popular, and what's her name from that show you sometimes watch. In a movie with two spectacular CGI battle sequences and an advertising campaign that will leave you no choice but to see this film. See it, because it's a movie. And all your friends are going. In wow. In theaters Friday and on DVD in three months. Hello, L.A. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? Hope you've slipped into something. Things haven't changed since 2004, huh? If you're new to town, you're just new to town. Uh, thank you, Random Events, for the new sub. Welcome. Thank you very much. Can we get into Seymour's coffee? No. Alright. I'm confused about how to efficiently get to Asylum. Is it... Through here? I have to run... Okay, so go between Medical Center... Okay, there we go. God, I used to be so good at, at building up like a mental map of, uh, of places in games. I wonder if that's tough because I got older or if it's because more, more games started having maps that you can rely on. Alright. Time for fucking threes to be up here and I can't hand in the quest to Jeanette. And it's like, oh, cool, go do a quest for me now. I come back and uh, now it's Jeanette's here. It's like, oh, here's your quest for Jeanette. Where's Trace? Oh, no, she's not here now. You. Fuck. What were you thinking? I. The museum. That was my event. Did you think I wouldn't find out? But. Shut up. I thought I could control my sister as long as tongue was out of the picture, but nothing's changed. I should have expected that you'd succumb to Jeanette's influence like all the others, but how dare you! I didn't do it, I swear. But we did! Don't lie to me! Jeanette already confessed she tricked you into doing it. It was probably all tongue's idea. I'll deal with them later. But that's still no excuse for you ruining my museum. I swear I didn't do it. I even brought you the item from the ocean house here. But we did do it! Excellent. I'll take that. However, Jeanette claimed you did it for her. But let's say I believe you. After all, you've acted decently and rationally up to now. I imagine you'd still like me to call off the feud. Yes. There's only one problem. If Tung gets word that I threatened Jeanette, which he most certainly already has... Nice. It's not likely he'll believe me. So, in order to call off the feud, you're going to have to convince Jeanette to forgive me first. And how do I do that? For, for Santa Monica's most powerful kindred? I'd be happy to. Forget it. I've had enough of both of you. And how do I do that? I made some threats against my sister. Idle threats, involving fire and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously, and is avoiding me. I want to meet with her, and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner, to reconcile. But I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. 
I'll go. Then the feud is off. If the Baron of Santa Monica wants her sister back, I will get her sister back. Why don't I just kill the crazy bitch so this never hap happens again? All right, so it's... It's neutral, simp, or go go crazy guy? All right, I'll go, then the feud is off. I want to see my sister. Yes, I'll call it off once I've spoken with her myself. Just do what I ask. I'll do. Oh shit, okay. Who's the third toothbrush for? I need to speak to Jeanette face to face. I don't have time to argue about it. Hey, you still working here, buddy? Get something for you, Chief. I'm on the wagon. I don't drink alcohol. You're a funny guy. You'll be the first stand-up comedian I've ever not. I, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. No. Hey, hey, I guess you mean this. I don't want any trouble. Tell me what you need. Show me some respect next time. That's what I need. All right. Do, 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 do. Alright, so what's the question? Therese asked you to go to the Surfside Diner to meet with uh, Jeanette and assure her that Therese does not mean to harm her. Okay, so over here, right? This is, this is, was there something about the phones in the back or something? Or, or is it the phones in the back of the diner? Move. Still more NPC variety than Witcher 3. He's coming. Du, 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 du. <laughs> hey there, I need a hey, you better get out of here. I don't want to talk to you. Hey, you better get out of here. Why? You better get out of here. Okay, I'm just gonna go over. I didn't even talk to you last time. I'm going to the bathroom. I need to piss out some blood. What the fuck? What's in the bathroom you don't want me to know about? Oh, now three of you are coming. Uh. 
God damn it! I thought I could grab him. Why am I crying? Because it's hilarious! Well, the first time, the first time we did the crouch, it, it, it went so well. I think because we hit all three of them at the same time or something. I don't know. I don't even know why this is happening. I just know that it's like, it's combat. Hey there. I need a One, one too many times. There you go. I feed. All right, what the fuck was that about? Oh, I have a shotgun now. Shotguns are cool. Hello? Hey, can I buy something? Time for Jeanette to be up here and Therese to be nowhere to be seen. Wonder why. Let's go! For fuck's sake, just. Oh, the button actually matters. I'm sorry. I thought if you were on floor one, you just hit it and it took you up. But if you're on floor two, it just took you in. Uh, sorry, I haven't been aiming the buttons before. Sorry, my bad. You. I'm really sorry it had to end this way. I truly am. You seem promising, but... You've been tainted by the stink of my sister's schemes. And now, I'm going to make sure she never double-crosses me again. Don't listen to her. She'll kill us both. Save me and I'll help you find Bertram, I swear. Shut up, Jeanette! I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. I always looked out for you. 
But you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced me! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? So would this technically be a three-way, or...? Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore! Do you realize that despite her condition, she still... fornicates with kind, no less? So despicable. So unclean! You're one to talk, dear sister. Or should I say daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Yes. Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you. Okay, no. No. Don't finish no. that sentence, or you're dead. All right, you're going to let her blab your secrets like that, Therese? Go on, Jeanette. What? Th th these are our options. These are our options. All right, number one. Don't you want to hear what happened? How she became the pillar of the community she is today. Shut up. Just shut up! Stop it, Jeanette. Go on, Jeanette. Stop it, Jeanette. That's right, Jeanette. No one wants to hear your lies. I was the good girl. You were the wicked one. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me. Taken care of me? You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for <laughs> me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. Is that true, Jeanette? Sounds like she has a point. That doesn't give you the right to tell her what to do. Let's decide with Therese. She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. Hey, if it wasn't for Jeanette, I'd be on my way to Tongue right now. You're right, Jeanette. Three tried to have me killed. Did she, though? <laughs> uh. As I said, to trust Jeanette is to trust a famished jackal not to eat you while you sleep. Therese will never let you live. You've disappointed her. I used you, yes, but I didn't try to have you killed. Therese has no problem with killing, do you? Remember father? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. What happened to your father, Jeanette? What happened to your father, Therese? What happened to your father, Therese? I was always good to father. But Jeanette made him miserable. Over the years, it all became too much for him. I think she broke his heart. So he killed himself right in our room. Wow. Killed himself. Therese. You placed his finger on the trigger once you blew his mind all over the silly clown wallpaper. Right after he found me in your bed and thought I was you. He was always angry at you. You drove him to drink. When he died, he was in torment. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. All right, time for old Yusuke Vampire to head on the dusty trail. Oh. See you later. I can't believe you killed your own father, Therese. I don't believe you, Jeanette. As you shouldn't. I'm afraid, <laughs> sister. I must write your ending in this family saga. And I want you to know, I do so with great anguish and disappointment. I had such hopes that you'd change for the better with my guidance. But so, sweet sister, is this how it has to end? I admit, I always knew this night might come. Well, any message you want me to give father? An apology? A love letter? Finish her off, Therese. Grab the gun, Jeanette. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. Uh-oh. What even just happened? I should turn this on you next, but I won't. Without Jeanette's assistance. Tongue, you, you're no threat. I'll call off the feud if that will get you out of my city. Okay. Tongue's hiding out in an abandoned oil tank um. at the old gas station. I'll tell him that one condition of a truce is that he help you. Our business, then, is finally complete. What you witnessed here, not a word to anyone. Um... 
I understand. Goodbye. Do try to stay cautious. I'd hate to see one so promising meet an end because of wayward trust in another. I may have need of someone like you in a few years, if you're still around. I'll remember that. Goodbye, Therese. Alright, that was kind of weird. <laughs> That that didn't that didn't feel like it was set up properly. I don't know, like maybe you have more options depending on your build and the way you do the question. That that didn't that didn't feel right to me at all. Like 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 not even a little bit did that feel proper. Okay, whatever. Alright, cool. But even without this like the build, like I really feel like there should have been more options there. That was that was like interesting and the back and forth was cool, but I feel like there weren't enough dialogue options there at all to be like, yo, what? <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> we're just going along with this. Uh, all right, so we have 11 experience points now. Okay, so what, what, what should we get? I mean, our social abilities are pretty good for how early you are into the game. We haven't gotten that many experience points yet, right? Like, our highest is three. Like, we could have got charisma up to three, maybe. Like, is this the kind of game where you're supposed to min-max min on the one part? Because, like, I feel like you should be getting, like, focusing on one line of attributes, one line of abilities, and, and like, like, there are spells, too. Like, what if you got different spells? Like, I don't know. I mean, it's a class of patched. It is patched. This is patched. I wonder if I should have went around and did more side quest stuff to get more experience first. It's fine. I'm okay with where there being kind of like path pitfalls in, in a game that's this old and has and has uh, so much to do. I mean, it's not really that old. Like, maybe I'm showing my age and showing how old I am by saying that it's not really that old. Like, but it's fine. Okay, so, 11 experience, what should I get? I guess I could get Charisma, and then that just gets Persuasion up though, like... We don't really see a lot of those. I wish it could show that, like, what paths are there and you can't get it because it, cause you don't have the skill for it. I like it when New Vegas does that. Alright, so Strength can help you get around some places. I don't know, should we just save the skill points until we need one, or... Like, I kinda wanna get... Lock picking up so we can lock pick more locks and computer stuff too to, to hack more computers. We also get research up to four for persuasion. Maybe like the um, the blood bank is the place that has the most lock picking. It's like oh you don't really need lock picking that much after that. I doubt it, but eh, whatever. Let's see. All right, the hunted hunter Nox is being stopped by an Asian vampire. He wants to go away and has asked for your help. He is giving you a license in the hopes it will provide some useful information. All right, so this this is this is the Asian vampire. Virgil Crumb. Are we supposed to find the person who looks like this? Diary, diary. Purse left behind the diner. Oh, is this just stuck in our inventory forever? Cash. Oh, we have quite a bit of money. Nice. Gold ring. Looks to be a class ring. Go North Bria Tech Iguanodons. I guess we can sell this in the pawn shop. Look at where something to someone who asked a few who asked a few questions about its origin. All right. One steak. Key ring. Out of my way. Just back off. Okay, let's see what uh, what's his face has to talk about anything. Oh, wrong place. Shit.
dun, 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 dun. Oh, is there anyone in the diner now? The, the, is the diner back to normal? Is the ghoul back? Greetings, smooth skin. What'll it be? Alright, that's that. Okay. Whoa. Hey, baby. Need company? What's going on over here? Is this because we slashed the paintings? Crime scene. Gonna have to ask you to step back, please. What's going on here? Ah, uh, some lunatic broke into the gallery and slashed up the paintings. Everyone's a critic these days. Yeah, huh? they were no masterpieces. I just hope they catch the guy, a uh, person who did this by now. Oh, that's a cool reaction to what you did. That's a question with Santa Monica. Specifically? Uh, no, never mind. Okay, look at this photograph. Look at this graph. All right, so this is the bounty hunter thing. This is apartment one. One. You are not strong enough to move this. Why would I want to? Mick G. Amalia. Home. Location. Mick G is hiding in the tattoo parlor in Santa Monica. Key. Don't forget the key to the tattoo parlor. It's on top of the TV. Home. Okay. Well, that was easy. Why, why can't... Silver ring. What? Check, check. Is this thing recording? God, I hate these things. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, the uh, McGee case is getting weirder all the time. I found where he's been hiding and I saw some really creepy stuff down there. There was uh, no sign of McGee. I'm gonna follow up on another lead I got too. I updated the files on the computer. Uh, this is Carson signing off. Man, that sounds stupid. That's fine. All right. Um, where's the uh, where has this? She just been called out times hiding in the oil tank not far from the asylum. <laughs> what you missed me with him? <laughs> like, like Oscar the Grouch? What do you mean? gonna offer to fix my computer when I see him. <laughs> Need some tech support. Am I oh cool you could have found the password in the in the area if you tried everything. Amalia. Nice. Alright so can blood buff discipline. What do you mean no one see oh wait 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 wait. Aha. Fuck. Alright. Alright, so that levels up our, our decks all the way up there. So if we got security, we could get through this, right? No. No. Alright, security again. No. Security again? Yay! What's in here? A videotape. Jock shot swims swimsuit shoot. 98% chance that someone has gone wild. Oh man, this was worth. 
This was totally worth. Edge found by a no, I want to put the tape in. Morning, who says he smelled it a mile away? The mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus. Though marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. They speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered. All right, so we have uh, we have lock picking now, so that's good. We've we've committed. That's probably for the best, to be honest. I like being able to pick locks and shit. If there's like a mystery box, I want to know what's in the box. What's in the box? So how often does uh, this guy's inventory update? Thanks for coming back. What you need? All right, here's what we got today. Nope. Okay. This place seems nice. Oh, hold on one second. Oh, wait, where's the phone? Hello? Hello? My high school is Mr. McGee. <laughs> he doesn't seem to be here at the moment. Can I help you? Well, I'm not sure. I had an appointment with him a few days ago, but he never seemed to show up. I don't actually. What sort of appointment was this? No, actually, I'm looking for it myself. I don't actually. Well, Mr. McGee was going to be doing some modeling for me. Medical reference for the work that I do here in the studio. It's a shame, really. The proposition would have been quite lucrative for him. Really? Maybe I could come down and model for you. Why, yes, that sounds delightful. Perhaps you could come down to my studio and we can sort out the details. Sounds good. Where are you located? I'm at the end of Main Street, small basement studio. The sign says Gimbal's Prosthetics. Uh-oh. Just ring the buzzer and I'll let you in. Uh-oh. Sounds good. I'll be there in a little while. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. No, this isn't a David Cage game. We're good. Okay. All right. Quick cash for modeling. Is there a phone in the basement? All right, is that because our perception ability? It's just supposed to be on the phone. Wait, did we did we just come in here for a phone call? There's no way. We got a lead, it's Gimbal's prosthetics. All right, cool. Good thing we came in at the exact moment he was calling. I, saw, I remember the sign, it was down here to the right. Yes, may I help you? I'm 
on a blood drive. I could use some sunblock. Uh, I don't think so. Hello, I spoke to you on the phone a little while ago. Oh, right, right. I'll buzz you in. All right, seems legit. Thanks. Hello! Welcome to Gimbal's Prosthetics and Medical Supplies. Hello! You're here for the modeling job? Good, good. You seem to have rather well-developed limbs, if you don't mind me saying so. Are you going to cut them off? Uh, who are you? Oh, yes, forgive me. My name is Gimbal. Stanley Gimbal. But, oh, dear, let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. The Stanley Gimbal? Nice to meet you, Stan. I'm ready to get started. If you are, tell me a little about yourself, Stan. Me? Oh, I'm just trying to make things a little easier for those who find themselves uh, disadvantaged. Giving a helping hand, you might say. A leg up. <laughs> Bloody clever, that one. I agree. I like this guy. Oh, you're really funny. Can we get started? Uh, you seem disadvantaged. Whoa! Aha! An eager participant. Very good. Just give me a few moments to get my equipment ready, and then come on in and we'll get started. Okay, I'm sensing buzz saws in our future. Okay. Time for you to lay down. Bzzz. Oh, he has a prosthetic too. And we could have called him disadvantaged. What the fuck? Vampire? Carnival of Death, gruesome rains found the police on the pier. Police baffled. They printed that fast. Hooker? Hooker magazine. Alright. Mannequin arms and other parts, 26.50. The 50 is important. Whole mannequins on sale, 125. Prosthetic limbs varies per customer. Crash test dummies, 14.50. Wow, those are way more expensive. Amputees must must wait up front. Seems fine. Where did he go? High five. Why would you have a, like, cage where you do your office? Like, what? Alright. Where is he? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, what have we gotten ourselves into? Maybe he just calls that house and whoever picks up is his, his next victim. Or is is there is the twist here? It's just like, yeah, nothing bad happens. It's fine. Oh, what's in his fridge? Oh, he has blood. Why would he have blood? He must be a vampire. Is he going to bite me? I'm going to say, whoa, whoa, I'm a vampire too. He's be like, oh, terribly sorry. I thought you were a human. All right. This is how I feed. All right. On your way then. Sorry to have bothered you. Uh, no harm, no foul. Yeah, see you later. guy seems legit to me. Yeah, nothing wrong with this. Yep, nothing wrong here at all. This seems fine. Matt? 
What? How much is he paying for this place? It's huge. Huh? Oh, hey, help! You gotta get me out of here, man. This guy's a freaking nut job. Who? Gimbal? He seems fine to me. Who? Gimbal? Yeah, Gimbal. That guy's been taking pieces off of me and McGee over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man. Freaking crazy. What? So he just calls the place, hoping someone's picked up for his least. Really? Mickey's here. Okay, and now how do I open this door? What are you doing here? Wait, maybe I got the names mixed up. Oh, he had. <laughs> Wait, no, I haven't. I haven't said I was gonna go against you yet. What? What? What are you doing, bro? Got him. I think that enemy gave us Thanks, a man. hand. You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. Your car I take it? Yeah, yeah, that's me. How did you know? Arthur Kilpatrick sent me. He did? Oh man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. He's got some work for you, so you should head back to the office. What? Oh, no, man. No, no, no. Not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. I understand, Walt. Well, I'll give him the bad news. See ya. Man, you ain't no fall guy. Later. You hear that dog barking? I think it's Old Yeller. I'm out of here. I understand. Thanks again. Don't worry. I'll take care of Old Stumpy here. Yeah, better come back with the police. Damn, I can't believe Stan ended up being a bad guy. So I guess he just likes to call that places and see who picks up. Because it was McGee that lived there, right? He wanted McGee. And that's McGee. And this was Carson. Alright. Cool. Maybe he has surveillance on the on the tattoo parlor. Maybe he saw us go and then he ran back to his, his house real quick and called. Okay, how do we get in here? Can we not get in there? That looks like a place you should be able to get into. Gimbal. What's in there? Oh, it's just a record player. I guess not. Huh. We certainly took a gimbal coming here.
Okay. That was fun. All right. Uh, thank you, meaningless name for the five and three sub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dvornik. Dvornik, yeah, five seven five for the new sub. Not wearing my contacts again today. Thank you very much for the new sub. Welcome, welcome, and thank you. It's frisbee time for the two one three sub. I like frisbee time. It's frisbee time. Thank you very much. Let us feed. I want to feed. All right, you're all looking away, right? You're all looking away. All right. I can feed. Hey there, need a day? No, I need some blood. God damn it. Psst, come in here. Alright, you're in the dark. You're in the dark. There's no way. There's no way someone will catch us. Yeah, feed. Alright, we're done. All right, no one saw us, right? Okay, no one saw us. Cool, that worked out. We got one experience just from that. Maybe we get more experience when we um, when we go back and hand the quest in with with uh, whatever the fuck his name is over at Bail Bonds. Oh, it's super strong grandma. You can't feed off her grandma. She's too powerful. Hello, LA. You have way past your bedtime. Hope you've slipped into something comfortable. What's shaking? Hey, a pose guy. I found Carson. Unfortunately, he's not coming back. What? Ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? His trigger finger got cut off by a psychopath. He didn't say why. Can I get paid now? Man, that's a tough one. Bounty Hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. Well, hell, that really leaves me in hot water, boy. Gonna cost old Arthur real good. What's the problem? I got this guy with a sheet a mile long, put in on three warrants. His girlfriend put up for the bond, and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? I don't know. What would I have to do? You haven't paid me for finding Carson yet. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, here you are. Thanks. About that job. Well, it won't be much of a job since you ain't licensed and all, but until I can get me another bounty hunter, I need you to find out if this guy skipped town or what. 200? Fucking hell. Wow, that's like four Becky bucks. Well, you won't be much of a job if you ain't licensed at all. Okay, so if someone's gonna find us here or not? Yeah, okay. Yeah, no body attachment or nothing. Just find out if he's here or where he went. I'll pay you. Deal? I suppose I could do that. Great, great, all right. The guy's name is Mike Durbin. Goes by the name Muddy. His girlfriend put up for his bond. She lives over there above Tripp's pawn shop. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. Sounds dangerous. Do you know where I could get a gun or two? What's this guy's record like? Well, he was brought up on manslaughter charges years back, but he got acquitted. Since then, he's been in and out for this and that. Small time stuff, mostly. What did you do this time? Most recently, he was brought in as part of a big case on stolen auto parts. It's this big chop shop thing that's going on in Santa Monica. Been in the paper. So above the pawn shop, right? That's right. Mary Ann Murrieta, in them crappy places above the pawn shop. Find out where the hell Muddy is, where is he going, whatever. But be careful. You're not licensed, and if anything bad goes down, I don't know you. You hear me? Don't we live in the crappy places above the pawn shop? Yeah, I hear you. All right. Come back when you got some info. Thanks in advance. Actually, I have a few questions. Sure, pal. What is it? Uh, these places what in town. What place you want to know about? Uh, you know about the asylum. Oh, you mean that club? We get drunk and disorderlies and drug bust out of there sometimes. Some fights. The owners run it pretty tight, though. Who are the owners? You know, I'm not even sure. Couple of ladies. Sisters, I think. You don't see them around here too much. Interesting. Why ask about another what place? What place you want to know about? Uh, Ocean House Hotel, Gallery North. Ah, uh, you know what? I actually sure, don't need pal, to know what about is that. It? 
taste test between Frick right. and Chicken and the other leading chicken. Is there anything boxes. here that we can Let's find? Which one they prefer? Bomb suit already did. Framework camp. Um, Try this leading brand bond written. Okay, I don't want to read all this because this is a lot. I, th I guess most of its flavor. Yeah. Like, are any of them Try gonna like this. trigger a quest? Oh, oh my God! What this the fuck? Good chicken. What is this, sir? Take a test for me. Sure. Oh, Bond written. Oh, 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 seriously, John, these up there. Here, try this one. Mm. Crumb hey. v. Oh, Crumb V. Oh, two counts, public right disturbance, drunk immunity, local void, such explosive identified right. being held at medical you clinic. More authorities don't. Oh, now we have to go back into the fucking medical yeah, clinic. Good. All right. What the f is this? Nine out of ten people preferred friggin' chicken over the competition. Why? Cause that's some good friggin' chicken. <laughs> I mean. Friggin' chicken. <laughs> friggin' chicken. You'll swear it's the best you've ever had. You love the talking baby movie, and the talking pig, and even the talking car in that show. You know the one I'm talking about. But now prepare for the most hilarious talkingest normally need object yet. He's Steve Cash, a New York banker and recent whittler down on his luck. And ten makes one hundred. Here's your money, ma'am. Ma'am, I happen to have a granular problem. That's it. I'm withdrawing all my millions from this bank. Cash! She's an ATM machine with the soul of his dead wife. ATM Chan. familiar about this ATM machine. I love you. Wow, those marketing guys are geniuses. Together, they're learning to make the most of their special situation. So that girl from a all right, that's all of them. Really? Wait, was there anything else over here? That's it. Then she pushed my buttons. We got two experience for that. Nice. All right. So if the blood buff, I question, I question the ability of blood buff because, or the implementation. I get if if it still gives you a bonus like above the minimum afterwards, or like, but like this seems it feels like a waste to level this shit up now because leveling this up means that I'm undoing the blood buff I can use to get into uh I can get into with the with lock picking and stuff hmm you don't have infinite blood you kind of have infinite blood though like, you can come out here and chow down. Like, unless you, they despawn after you feed on them, I kind of feel like you have effectively infinite blood. If you're willing to put the legwork in, and I am. I'm installing the game for the nth time now, you're to blame. Good luck. Have fun. downtown for a few days, maybe longer. If Reno calls, tell him to meet me down there. We got something to discuss, apparently. I'll be at Milton's place in the Skyline Lofts 2A. Sorry, baby. I'll explain everything later. So, what I'm being taught by the game now is that I shouldn't go exploring, and I should only go into places if I have a, if I have a quest again to. Get into. And I feel like that's not the best thing to take from it, but... I guess if you're already in an, in an area that you you can freely explore, but that's the uh, that's the the lesson I am taking from uh, from this. Where is this dark blood? Our curse, a light this first. Such power, since in one so young, can find me where burns the mystical sun. Where's the mystical sun? I can't remember if the original Deus Ex was like that. I think there were some parts like that, but I remember being able to explore and, and find things a lot more easily in, in Deus Ex. Alright, so what's the things we have to do? That's the one we just saw, Carnival of Death. Um, I don't think that we can do this one yet. We have to find someone who knows more about the the, the, the killer. So what's the beginning? Alright, we can go see Tongue, the hunted hunter. You've discovered the Virgil Crown, the man identifying license can also give you dead and being cut. Okay, we can go do that for sure. And you've been sent a message from Mr. Durbin. He's, he's heading downtown to Skyline Apartments 2A. Oh, 2A! 
You know what, two A's right next to the residence of Mr. Milton. He's also expecting a call from someone named Reno. You should report back to Arthur. All right. Tongue should be around here somewhere, right? Oh, now it's open. Cool. Hey, can you help me with my laptop? Oh, he has a computer! Is looking for you. I've gotten good at knowing when I am wanted. Are you Bertram Tongue? The one and only. But don't bother with the introductions, fledgling. I know who you are. Nice, you do. News travels down the Kindred Grapevine like wildfire, and that courtroom spat between Lacroix and Nines Rodriguez is a juicy little morsel. And you in the middle. <sighs> How interesting. How do I get on this grapevine? That's great. So, you know, I survived. Oh, you did, did you? Well, I wasn't worried. So why did you need to find me? What did you need? I need to get to that warehouse for Mercurio. Hmm? Oh, never mind. The warehouse, though. I've been watching the place. What? The Sabat has a bunch of low-life humans working day and night to move stuff through there. There's some major staging going on. The Sabat, just humans, right? But can you get me inside the Sabat? The Sabat, jeez, you are green. It's like this: we're all monsters, like it or not. I'm not gonna say the Sabat are the evil vampires, because none of us are the good guys here. Oh, but video the Sabbat, games. The they glorify their monstrous nature. They refuse to hide it and go out of their way to show it. They're also brainless and reckless. They have a life expectancy of a vampire fruit fly. Nice. But should I only expect to find it? But should I only expect to encounter humans there? Can you inside the warehouse humans? As far as I can tell, the humans seem to know the score from the way they've been talking. I think most of them have aspirations of joining the next graduating class of shovelheads. Ugh, losers. They know they're working for vampires. Yeah. This is about like everyone to know just who they're dealing with. So if you get in there and have to bust a few heads, don't feel bad. Think of it as... Upholding the masquerade. Nice. Bloodlines? Yes, I can. Just tell me when you're ready, and we'll leave. Once you're there, however, you're on your own. You'll have to get into the place and plant the explosives in the middle office to take the whole structure down. Let me get a few things together first. <laughs> All right, I guess. Come back when you're ready to go. But don't be too long, fledgling. This isn't really something we planned around your schedule. Whatever, see ya. Can you teach me how to hack? I love how it's like, there's there's no lights in here. Just whatever the fuck this is over here. Some, some dingy ass couch. Some horribly stained mattresses with no pillow, no blankets, nothing. And then, nice lamp with just like this well-tended, beautiful fucking computer. Like, yeah, here you go. Like, <laughs> priorities. Uh, all he needs is an anime girl poster. Hello, LA. Hey there, slick. Got some info about Muddy. So what'd you find out about Muddy? He skipped town. He fled someplace downtown. All right, then. I'll have to call in some bounty hunters to help me find Muddy and a couple of other jumpers. Thanks for all your help. 
You can thank me in American dollars. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry about that. Here you are. Thanks. See you around, then. If you ever find yourself or a loved one locked up, please call. I will later. That That's it? That was the whole quest? Vigo. Okay. So... Maybe it comes back later. Starting to get the impression that, th that there is another map. Or maybe there's like areas of this that open up like more. Like maybe there's like something past there. That's like a whole other street down there or something. Okay. Um, so do we want to go to the... Oh, it's still there. While trying to find money, you already answered your machine. Oh, so we, we, we can get down there at some point. All right, let's go do the the Virgil Crumb bullshit. And um, maybe maybe we should have done that before we went and spoke to, to Tongue. Because like Tongue is the one that wanted him, right? Maybe Tongue would like us more. Shit. Shit. Just vanished. Okay, can we get through here now with blood buff? Let's find out. Nope, nine. We have eight with everything with everything um, maxed out here. Should we get another security? Nine points for security? God damn it, man. All right. Now nah, we're good. All right, can I get into here? No. Oh, that's just the door on the other side. God damn it. Waste of time. Alright, so the morgue is in here. No, it's not. Shit. Uh, where's the one with the hole in it? Here? Yeah, here we go. Oh, now there's something in here. Foxy Boxes Key. Oh man, good thing we opened this. All right, so um, yeah, th this this game, uh, yeah, is a is a thing, huh? You have to meet it on its own terms. That's fine, but like, yeah, you really do. Okay. How do I inspect you, bro? Or did it just update when I got in here? Get out of here. This time for sure. I'm not criticizing it, Chad. It's fine. I'm just learning what the game is expecting from me, and just like uh, realizing that this isn't this isn't something that you're gonna fully enjoy and appreciate on one playthrough. You have to play it multiple times. You have to learn how the ins and outs of it, which is fine. Just yeah. There's just gonna be some level of frustration and uh, and backtracking in order to get through it. I quite like it. But not. All right, time to decorate my office. Laptop, phone, speaker clock. Reports.
My initial observations of the city indicate that the Canites, Canites, like Cain, here are both scattered and unorganized. There are but there are three individuals of note, but they seem to be involved in some sort of dispute. I shall continue to watch and listen. These Canites are, cu are curious and fragile, but not fra that fragile race. They will waste the gift of their immortality on petty schemings and fleshy gain. We will have little problem making this city our own. Alright, so are these like a different brand of supernatural beings that are writing this? It seems that my presence here has been noted by one of the, the Canites, and Nosferatu, I believe they are called. He has entrusted the responsibility of my surveillance to a bumbling mortal fool. I have begun to follow this so-called spy, a small amusing re respite from my usual duties. Hmm. Who's the vampire to the vampire? Uh, I've drawn the attention of a newcomer, an agent of the prince, who has discovered the corpse of Virgil Crumb. Oh man, this was recent. I know very little about this individual, but they seem much more resourceful than most canites I have observed. I will prepare myself in the event that our paths cross, because an altercation seems imminent. If I do not survive, let my last report state that Santa Monica is ripe for the taking. We'll find little resistance if we come here, if we come in force. Damn. Imagine if this ended with, in fact, I know that he's going to find this, and he's reading this right now. Hello, I'm behind you. Goodbye. You know, that would have been pretty fucking cool. All right. Do, 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 do. Oh man! What the f- What- What the fuck? Does he have a crossbow? I can jump on boxes too, bro. Time to bust up the shotgun. Yeah! I think I don't have enough uh, combat ability to to use the severed arm. I think I should I should just be punching. Let's fight. Let's let's use it that way.
Can I even just grab him and just drain him? That would be funny. Reminds me of the fist fighting missions in Cyberpunk. Why did that just do zero? Suddenly invincible. Hey, you. I'm having fun. What? Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. I would like your sword now. I would like your sword now. So- What the fuck? It's a sword! Anything to loot in here? I don't think so. Thank you, Quacken, for the 10 3 sub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vinti Robot, for the new sub. Welcome, Vinti Robot. Welcome also to Wing Edge, or Winged GE. Not sure, one of those two for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. And thank you, Mahalo Ma Goldstein, for the 8 month 3 sub. I think I said it right the first time for the first time. Nice. All right, now we go back to the Asylum, which is through here. You can have a sword in the unofficial patch. The graphics are better than the unofficial patch. 
It's like what what CD Projekt Red promised in Cyberpunk in in, uh, in uh, the unofficial patch. It's like the pre re release No Man's Sky promised in the unofficial patch. It's Half Life Three in the unofficial patch. Graphic it uses ray tracing in the unofficial patch. It's like it's like Mario Odyssey, but with like good levels for its moveset in the unofficial patch. The camera is way better in the unofficial patch. There's a sound slider in the unofficial patch. I did it. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Right on, man. Yes. Hey, I'm sorry again for what happened before. I still haven't heard anything from Bertram, but you know, I'll let him know about how good you did and about how you were cool about everything. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. Any idea what that thing was? Bertram said it's like a vampire. It's different, you know? It's like what they have in China instead of vampires. He said lots of them have been coming to California for some reason. I don't know. What? That's interesting. I'd better be going. Hey, what's up? So man? he was kind of a vampire? Oh man, thanks again for your help. Can we can we talk to three? Oh wait, who wants to get sucked? Hey, you, can I suck you? The world, world would be intolerable if there was nothing as beautiful as you. No. Yeah. Yeah, I really mean it, and I'm not drunk or anything. Come here. I want to whisper something in your ear. Is it fuck off? Fuck off! Yeah, there you go. All right, um, let's, let's try again. <laughs> you look a lot like my ex-girlfriend. Um, my boyfriend will be back any minute. All right. Hmm? You think I'm really? Yeah, I'm sure you hear it all the time. Mm. I have something I want to tell you. Come closer. Yep. Seems legit. Alright. Well, this is fun. The unofficial patch adds a mini game to uh, to drinking blood, so you can like hit buttons to, to drink more. You also get to t like decide how deep the fang fangs go in. The unofficial patch also makes it so your fangs are hollow and you suck the blood into your skull. The unofficial patch tells you who killed Kennedy. I don't know how they did it, but like, damn. All right. You ready to go? I have some questions for you when I get back. All right, let's go. <laughs> Node graph out of date, rebuilding. All right, it's done. By downloading the unofficial patch, you actually become a member of the Illuminati. All right, do, do we go down to the sewer? Is the sewer the way we get back? Oh, that you can go down here, okay. When you download the unofficial patch, Bill Gates and Elon Musk call you up and personally say thank you. over here
Greeting, smooth skin. Yo, what the fuck is going on here tonight? Fox is all in everyone's face and shit. Didn't you hear? A new shipment came in, some pretty serious hardware. Yeah, I heard. But what the fuck? We get that kind of shit in here all the time. What's so different about tonight? I don't know. Marcus is tense as a motherfucker. Maybe he heard something. Like what? Like, I don't know, but keep your fucking eyes open. And someone better tell those clowns in the freight house to quit playing cards before Marcus comes out and starts peeling fucking caps, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Shit! Ow. Ouch. Could you imagine not thinking that Xenoblade Chronicles is a parody. Could you imagine not thinking that? Like, wow. Oh, shit! Pretty good sound in this game. Shh, no! Why? You mean Gembu's broken? Like, with coffee and milk. Nice. Doors open now, you can go inside. In the unofficial patch, you can reload for Haru. Nice. Oh, I didn't know that was something we could open. Okay. Even a better one. Shit, relax, Freeze, motherfucker. <laughs> Freeze, motherfucker. Is he just snapping upright from the ground? Ah, oh, final death. 
Final death, almost. We deserve that. We deserve that. Should have patched. Should have patched. Damn, that went well. Wait, didn't you have a gun where- Oh, so you don't get bullets unless they have the gun equipped when you fight them? Interesting. Mortimer. Hey, stop, man. Oh, man. Stop, man. Hey, stop, man. Stop, man. Ow. I heard that the unofficial patch makes you like The Last Jedi. Its power has no limits.
That's about. I've said it before. Like I haven't seen Rise of the Skywalker yet. Still, um, cause uh, you know, I don't I don't go to the movies anymore, and no one else does now too. So we're all even. Um, but Silver Ring. Oh, did we just pick that up just by running over it? Silver Ring. I guess we did. Um, but from what I hear, it's it's a complete train wreck, which means that, uh, unironically, The Last Jedi is the best of the three new movies. Because the fucking Force Awakens sucked. Like, at least The Last Jedi tried. I hated The Last Jedi. Like, it was really bad. But, like, at least it fucking tried. The Force Awakens was so boring. But maybe Rise of the Skywalker is good. Maybe it's fun. This is very Final Fantasy VI. Hey, stop, man! Freeze, motherfucker. Hey, freeze, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. These guys take a lot of hits. Oh, he was reloading. Come on. I like that you don't have to... to Pick up the ammo, it just picks it up automatically. That's good. In the unofficial patch, uh, you have a, 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 a minor uh, magnetic effect that just pulls it in toward you. It's pretty good, it's pretty cool. Not patched, by the way. Not patched, by the way. FTP, by the way. Going in there like that, like that, that meme of Theresa May coming on stage. <laughs> oh, uh, here I go. Oh, uh. Oh, they shoot their friends! Oh, better than Dark Souls. Nice. Save it in combat? Oh my god, the power! The power of saving in combat! Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
What? What the fuck? What the? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry, Master. I must go all out. Just this once. Shit. Oh no! Shit. All right, we did it. The unofficial patch makes the gunplay uh, better than Doom Eternal. The glory kill animations are just really brief. It's really good. Alright, do I have the power to move these things with guns? No! Ah! I'm- Whoa! Whoa! Okay! Maybe a little bit. Imagine what this would be like if the unofficial patch was installed. What kind of Yakuza bullshit is this? Whoa, 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 no, 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 the hell, no, no, they hit so hard. They run, run, no! What if I hit it from the other side? Oh, best game. I wonder who was standing under that that we can kill with that. That would have been fun. Wow, a slight decline and you go like fucking racing off of it? Damn. How 2020? Oh shit! Oh, I should have fed on him. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey, buddy. Freeze, motherfucker. Freeze, motherfucker.
Stop, man. Where am I supposed to put the explosives? Oh, oh no! And plant the ashlight without killing anyone if possible! Oh no! Oh no! Did it did did it did it what wait what? Back in. We have to go back in. There's too many. I count three and I'm the count. Alright, we're good. Alright. Come on come in here. Alright, I should be able to, to feed on this guy up here, right? Alright. Alright, he doesn't know we're here. We're complete we're completely stealthed. He Oh no, he's suspecting something. Alright, let's save it. Damn hey, shit! Yeah! Alright, time to go back outside. Do, 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 Yeah. Stop, man. Alright, so I guess our stealth needs to be higher to get close to them for that that's fine. I don't mind these glitches and bugs by the way. They're they're entertaining. Like it's it's an older game that try that's really ambitious. It's fine. And I don't think you should hold it against the game either. It's fun, it's funny. Just just embrace it and have fun with it. Where'd the other two go? Nothing can stop the count. If only there was like some sort of update that fixed all of these issues, like preferably unofficially. Too bad. Wait, this is this the way? Where the wait? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where the fuck are we going? <laughs> Excuse me. Can I shoot the other side out? <laughs> what about this? <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, is this, an, is this an explosive? Oh, it is! This time for sure. Alright, two shots. Oh, no. Alright, that's cool. Wait, isn't this supposed to be a stealth mission? I found this this thing out in uh, in Cyberpunk. Oh, let's let's buff our way in. In Cyberpunk, that if you um, if if a vehicle kills someone instead of instead of you, like it doesn't break your stealth. So like you can rev up um a uh, like your bike into a camp and just dive off of it. Uh, and if the bike after you dive off the bike, the bike keeps going. And if the bike kills the person, not you, it it doesn't count as you killing them. So no, there's no reaction to it or anything else like that. And someone on Discord um, ran someone over with a van, and they got like stealth experience for it while they were in the van. So it's like as long as you're not on the bike, it doesn't count as as like a crime or anything like that. But any kill you get in stealth, apparently, um, I think I think it was Top Lolly that found it actually was a. Uh, Got got like a stealth experience for running someone over in, in a van. I'm pretty sure that when when I did that though, like there was a camp I did that I did it at a couple of camps that like I I got off the bike and the bike plowed into the one of these two people standing next to each other and just kept going and and I hid behind a crate and I'm pretty sure that that the person blamed the bike and started doing like aggro lines and shooting in the direction of the bike but it wasn't exactly on the bike like they blamed the bike like they were mad at the bike the, the bike was their target um so I'm, I'm pretty sure that was it but maybe they, they were had they were doing like target practice nearby and they were just like kind of stuck back in their target practice but also saying some aggro lines now i don't know but it was really funny i choose to believe that they blamed the bike Okay, we're over time, but I want to finish this area. And also, I I, I blabbed for a while uh, at the beginning of stream. Oh man, these guys hit hard. I forgot about that. Shit, run away. All right, we're good. God, I wish I had some healing ability. All right, let's keep going. Probably need need, need to stealth grab one. Stop, man. I wonder if the unofficial patch adds a healing ability. Shit. Yes. Calculated. Absolutely calculated. Whoa, what happened over there? Oh, we could have snuck through when we got up here with the... Uh with uh, over this part. Damn, it's almost like this is like a stealth mission or something. All right, am I gonna go in here and s here freeze motherfucker and get shot in the face? No, I'm good, okay. 
What? No! No, 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 no! Okay, no, no, we haven't finished exploring yet. We have to kill everyone. History has a way of repeating itself, and if we don't stop violence and destruction now, when will it end? Wait, are these... Are these pacifists? Guns don't kill people. I do. Cowardice... Oh, that's why they're saying stop, man! It's their slogan! What healing ability? I don't have a healing ability! The Dread Presence of Vampire's Terminal Fear did not comment on the Dread Residence Raid. Slarity, Vampire, Prenatural Speed. I don't see any healing. Aspects enhanced your metal physique, those yours around you, those around you, because you're going to What the What the fuck? Celerity, Aspects, Blood Buff, Presence, that's it. Does Blood Buff hear me? No? What, what, what are you talking about? What healing ability? I don't have one. Maybe unironically, it's in the patch. Unironically, the unofficial patch adds a healing ability. I don't have a healing ability. I'm mouse scrolling. Look, I've never scrolled more in my life. Scrolling like a champ over here. Look. Goddamn, look at me scroll. Look, I'm, I'm fucking Todd Howard. I'm scrolling so hard. Look at this shit. Look. You know what healing ability? <laughs> you know what gives you healing ability? Oh, that looks like it opens. Unofficial healing ability. Damn, look at all these Redditors that played the game with an unofficially added patched healing system. Damn. Can you imagine downloading a cheat and not realizing it was a cheat? Wow. Wow, they, they did not get the pure intentional experience of Bloodline the Masquerade. Damn. False fans. My game is patched too, by the way. I'm just shitposting. There's probably some unintentional cheats that I'm enjoying right now, too. Like 1440p. Alright, so we can get up here on top of the trains. Oh, we can't. Really? We can't get under that? All right, so I think I think we've cleared out everything. We've killed everyone as the mission dictated. God, seeing that it was a stealth mission just gave me like fucking wedding sheep flashbacks. <laughs> the fucking wedding sheep. <laughs> All right, where are we going? I don't know what that was. When we, we we did one stream of Red Dead Redemption 2, and I just I just couldn't stop killing people. Like it was it was an accident, it really was an accident. But I just couldn't stop killing people and being a complete scumbag. So I'm like, okay, fuck it. I'm just gonna go out into the wilderness and I'm just gonna hunt. I'm just gonna stay away from people. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna stop, cause chaos anymore. I'm just I'm just gonna go. And then I, I found this sheep and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna hunt and, and that's it. You know what could go wrong? And like I went over and I looted. I picked up the sheep's body and it had like a wedding ring on it. And then I picked it up and it had a big bow tied to it. It was like someone's favorite fucking sheep and I just lost my shit. That even trying to be like like a hunter can't hurt anybody. I killed someone's favorite fucking sheep. <laughs> I put it on the back of my horse and I left. I took the evidence with me. That's one of my favorite stream moments was the wedding sheep.
I think Marek did a did a chan of the wedding sheep. Disapproving. Oh. What stream? The Red Dead Redemption 2 stream. We did we did one stream of that a long time ago now. It was like when the first game when the game first came out. Alright, I think we did everything now. Or at least enough for now. Alright, so here we go. Is that the guy that we, we punched up into this into the wall? Alright, let's leave him alive, because then technically we didn't kill everyone, right? Nah, should we kill him? His eyes don't follow us after he's dead. Can you imagine a game where the corpses have eyes that follow you after you die? That, damn. That'd be crazy. Oh. Oh, where do we go? Back to where we came from? Run. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. What? What the fuck are you? Okay, is he invincible? Alright, I have a feeling it's shotgun time. Oh, we have a lot of ammo! Oh, man! Why are you reloading? Oh, we got him. Okay. That felt like we did more damage with our fists. Alright. Our health looks fine right now. Our health is fine. Oh, I thought that was like a baked-in thing. I didn't realize that actually had physics tied to it. Cool. I mean, it is source, but at the same time. Did this close? Or was it never open? Alright, are there gonna be more more of those spooky guys? Oh no! But wait, we can't get out under the trains. It wouldn't let us. It was blocked off. Oh shit. Oh, we're gonna die.
Where did he go? No, let me go. For fuck's sake. Oh, we died. Through the train. Was there a door in the train I missed? It wouldn't let me pick the lock. Maybe because I'm in combat? Maybe I have to kill him. Where where's this corpse come from? Peace. Leons. Maybe you can pick locks in combat in the unofficial patch, but you know, the, the version of the game I'm playing, you can't. All right, let's sneak under. That, it actually worked. It actually worked. Okay, cool, we snuck through. Wait, how do we get back over to him? Oh, he's gone. Good, I was good. Are we gonna be friends? The warehouse. Your handiwork, I presume? No, it wasn't me. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, I did it. What the hell are you going to do about it? What the? Are you a werewolf? Yeah, that was me. Hopefully no Sabat saw you escape. They can be somewhat antagonistic. Two of them did, yeah. yeah. So who are you and why are you even following me? Whose side are you playing for, Wolfie? So are you a werewolf? <laughs> Not experienced much in the creatures of the night, are you? For future reference, you might keep in mind that werewolves aren't in the habit of... Introducing themselves. All right. Getting kind of a Sonic fan from him. I think all werewolves are Sonic fans, but not all Sonic fans are werewolves. You're gonna, you're not gonna kill me. I hadn't planned on it. Who are you, and why you've been following me? I see my reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time, for different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. No, we're cool. Tell me, have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? Oh, where do I start? I saw a ghost at a local hotel. I met some kindred on a beach that didn't seem like kindred. I saw the Santa Monica Baron has a split personality. Oh, number one. A ghost? Hm. Quite ordinary. I generally pay wraiths no mind. All but a few are willing to give up their secrets. Oh, how do we how do we save the 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 go? Oh, did we do that just by handing it in? Okay, I met some kindred at the beach. You didn't see one kindred. Thin bloods, they're a fascination of mine. They are considered a weaker, more human-like kindred, hence the name Thin Blood. But they are sired same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. Santa Monica Baron has split personality. She's undoubtedly Malkavian. Or should I say, they are undoubtedly Malkavian. Other than that, I really haven't seen anything extraordinary. Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air. Like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts, so I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. 
pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Hmm. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful. You're very likely being hunted by the Sabbat. It's maybe a little over the top, but I like all the movement in the dialogue scenes, the conversation scenes, like the eye movement, like the, the faces. It's it's dated for sure, but the way that they, they, they move just adds a, quite a bit to the, to the conversations that even some modern games don't get right with how they are. Um, like maybe a little too over the top, like it could be toned down a little bit, maybe maybe refined a little bit more, but I quite like it. Yeah, I quite like it. Uh, thank you, Stupido, for the 7-month reset. Thank you very much. That was an hour ago. Sorry, I guess we've been in this compound for a while and I lost track of time. Thank you, Stupido. Thank you, Stabby Magoo, for the 8-month resub as well. And thank thank you, Right On My Onyx Classic, for the 27-month resub. Thank you so much. Night, Beckett. Do, do, can't save while in a cutscene. We're not in a cutscene. Oh, we are in a cutscene. Oh, okay, sorry. shells ah 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 six shells ah 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 uh oh uh oh oh no oh no all right he doesn't he doesn't like that all right the world surprised we haven't found any new armor or clothes yet hmm all right nice work fledgling I felt that explosion a mile away it's all over the news too man there's gonna be some pissed off sabat just howling for blood tonight <laughs> yeah why did we do that because we were told to thanks do you know someone named Beckett Beckett I know of him. Why? I spoke with him. I heard he was in town. I spoke with him. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. Hmm, Bertram, I have some serious questions for you. What do you need? Can you fix my computer? I met your goal, Knox. I know you did. Sharp kid. Contract like a bloodhound. Oh man. I watched him work for a while before I approached him. I had no idea how eager he would be to help. You knew I did? I knew you would. I had him watching you know who for me. It was inevitable you'd pass through her joint. I told him to keep an eye out for you, gave him lines to feed you, the whole bit. Aw oh, man, it sure didn't seem like he was expecting me, but he needed my help. I killed an Asian vampire who was stalking him. It sure didn't seem like he was expecting me. Come on, Fledgling, don't ever think you're ahead of the ball in this game. No matter what action you take, some kindred you never even met already foresaw it and found a way to profit from it. Wow, it's just Shimano all the way down. Okay, I am ahead of your game. I saw right through Nox gone to tell, tell me all about it. No, no, okay, please be like, no, that was also part of it. I predicted that. Oh, shit. I knew about, the, I know all about the plan you and Nox had worked out for me. Huh. <laughs> Well, oh. savor the flavor, fledgling. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. All right, don't worry. I did anyway. Thanks. You helped me get rid of a spy without revealing myself or getting my hands dirty. Oh, he likes us now. Look, he's smiling. Disposition's gone up. Oh, he's smiling. It's like that you play Oblivion and someone doesn't like you, but like they have a nice conversation with you and they're like smiling. And then as soon as the conversation is done, their dialogue, they go back to like burying their teeth like... Oh, th thank you for helping me. And then, uh... <laughs> Why ask about someone else? Sure. Uh, what do you think about Prince LaCroix? What am I gonna say? He's the boss now. Yeah, what about the guy who decapitated my sire? He's LaCroix's iron fist. No one knows the sheriff, really. Except LaCroix. No one even knows the guy's name. There's lots of rumors about him, though. I heard LaCroix picked him up in Africa over a hundred years ago. Obviously, they work well together. I want to ask about someone else. Sure. 
Cheer. What about Nines Rodriguez? From what I hear, he's a likable sort. Rodriguez. And that's a problem. Nines Rodriguez is the kind of guy you want on your side. And more kindred go anarch every day because of him. Anarch? Can I ask you what's going on? So I see what you're saying. I want to ask you about clients. I see about other sex. Yeah. Uh, we can tell me about the anarchs. The anarchs. Yeah, I respect what they do. Strenuous liberty and all Are that. Are you peeing? Jazz, but they're kidding themselves. Wherever there's an ounce of power to be had, there'll be people dicking each other over. You think the Camarilla invented that? Are you, are you just having a piss right now, bro? I, I hear you. What about other clans? Sure. Tell you about the Brugia. They're a bunch of malcontents. They get pumped up by rousing the rabble they keep around them. Like, that's hard. Nothing breeds faster than contempt. And that's what the Bruja are all about. Jealousy and contempt. Sure. Cheer. Gangrel. They fancy themselves loners and drifters running around the countryside and barking at the moon. <laughs> it's all just an act. Gangrel can walk upright. They just choose not to. I would like a game like this where at the beginning you can choose whether you're a vampire or a werewolf or a mummy or whatever. Like, like a bunch of different things instead of just being vampires. I understand the scope of the game. Like, please, please don't take that as criticism of this game. This is cool. I'm just saying, like, like in a, in a like, like a, an imagined game, I think it would be cool if you had, like, different supernatural, like, um, beings that you could be and choose. I think that would be, that would be cool. I'm, I'm impressed that, that um, the game changes so much uh, with Malkavian alone. So who knows what the other ones are like. Sure. Sure. Malkavians. Malkavians are, uh, interesting. There's something to them. Learning to sort the wisdom from the bullshit can be some work, and, uh, not all of them are worth listening to, but, uh, they're all good fun, if you ask me. Like, Three's Vermin? She good fun? That was just silly vampire politicking, fledgling. No more. You get used to that kind of thing. Whoa. Politics in a video game? Did you know Jeanette and Therese were the same person? Of course. Uh, uh, I had my suspicions. What an interesting specimen. But a pain in my dead ass for sure. It sounded a lot more vicious than a pain in your ass. <laughs> of course it did. As if vampires and women both weren't insecure enough. Whoa! Get them together in one Malkavian body. And look what happens. Whoa! Talk about your drama queen. Whoa! Yeah, no kidding. Now that the Camarilla has moved into L.A., Therese wants the title of Prince of Santa Monica. I guess she saw me as a threat. Funny thing is, I could care less. So you care? How much do you care? Fame power did not intrigue you? I wouldn't want to be the Prince of Terra Haute. I leave that headache to the Ventru. Besides, there's only like four vampires in all of Santa Monica. <laughs> Some kingdom. That is funny. I want to ask you about something. Like what? Uh, the sex. Sure, fledgling. It's war out there, after all. You should know all you can about the different sides. All right, Camarilla. The Camarilla works. When you let vampires run wild, you wind up with caitiff frenzying in the streets, then bloods blowing the masquerade, and hunters sniffing around. Law and order is the kindred's friend. Now that's punk. What's a caitiff? Caitiff are just riffraff vampires who don't know anything about vampire society. Don't know their clan. Mutt vampires. What I suspect you were perilously close to becoming if LaCroix hadn't intervened. Yeah, I think it's a bit strange that we weren't introduced to the sect that we chose. Like, I guess you're supposed to align yourself to them as you go, or I, I don't really understand how we chose that when it's... Does the, is the beginning different? Like, I, I guess so. I'm not sure. All right. Yeah. Uh, what about the Sabbat? You ask me. The Sabbat makes no sense. They couldn't care less about the masquerade, and they seem to care even less about themselves. It's like, hey, let's all spread hell on Earth so we can feel big and bad. Oops. I'm dead. Now, how did that happen? Oh, so our, our the one that we chose at the beginning was determined by our sire. So if a Malkavian turns someone, they're also Malkavian? So if, if I turn someone, they would also be an art vampire? Interesting. All right, cool. Damn, if only that was in the title or something. That would explain it what much better. Need? 
All right, anything about the seal killer? Those murders are definitely the work of Kindred. Probably some Kate of getting revenge on everyone who made fun of him in high school. Once the sheriff tracks this guy down, they're gonna make one hell of an example of him. Kadif? Sheriff? Oh, we already asked about Kadifs. Is it the same line? Kadif or just- Yeah, okay. Um, see ya. What do you need? Like what? Sure. Oh shit! We lost our chance to do that now. This seems- You better get back. On my way. Okay, what if I walk out and come back in again? What do you need? Like what? Fuck. What do you need? What do you need? Like what? Okay, uh, I asked about all the clans, right? Clans are just bloodlines, you know. A common root shared and oh, there passed you go. on from sire to child. Damn, there we go. We asked about Bruja and Gangrel and Malkavians, another clan. Mm. Alright. Oh! The Nosferatu are damn good at what we do. No one even argues that. If you need to know, if you want it found, you come to us. We're indispensable. Not a bad place to be in the afterlife. Mm -hmm. What if I what if I have computer problems? Lucky you. The Nosferatu stick together. Pool resources. We have more going on than anyone could guess at. Our web blankets the night. Like, like the internet web? Like, because you do tech support? Do you work on your website a lot? I'm loyal to the clan, loyal to my primogen, and therefore... Primo gem. Loyal to the Camarilla. That wasn't an enthusiastic endorsement. The Nosferatu are the eyes and ears of the Camarilla, so they take care of us. They value our services, or uh, don't want to be on our bad side. Either way, no one bothers us. What do you think of Prince LaCroix? What am I going to say? He's the boss now. Yeah, what about... Okay, we did all this already. I got a few more questions. Like what? Uh, about the clan. Sure. Sure. Another clan. Mm. Uh, let's do ours last. Venture. They get a bad rap, if you ask me. Everyone likes to take shots at the man in charge. But when it comes to getting the job done, the Ventru know how to step up. They can take the heat. Another clan. Sure. Sure. Mm. Mm -hmm. Tremier. Mages. I don't have any reason to trust them. They're creepy, and I think they like it that way. But to be honest, I don't hear much about the Tremere. There's a few in L.A., but all in all, there's not that many of them. All the Tremere uninst uh, install the, uh, the un unofficial patch, for sure. Then they have that healing ability. Sure. Sure. Mm. All right, my clan, Toreador. <laughs> I don't rub elbows with the pretty bloodsuckers much. Whoa! But I've seen them work people like puppeteers, and that's admirable. Now, if only they'd get off their slimy asses and put their talent to some use besides feeding their egos. Astute observations made from the safety of a rat hole. Save it, Don Juan. Your silver tongue might get tarnished looking this hide. Is that an invitation? The stusking worm moving on. Like what? Uh, sex. Yeah. There's no one new there. Alright, that's good. Alright. What do you need? Was there, like, another option like through the, the people? Sure. God, we just spent so much time fucking talking to this guy. You better get back downtown. Prince LaCroix is gonna want to hear all about this victory. Cool. Alright, so we have 12 experience points. Um, we can level up some of our hacking so we can work on our website. Uh, but we're not in Osferatu, so that doesn't... <laughs> I love this joke so much. Um, I guess because we're playing Toriador, we should level up our charisma and appearance and get some persuasion going. Like, we're not really role playing ourselves effectively, right? So far, we're kind of janking our way through the combat, so I don't think we need to level up our combat until the game forces us to. Hello, taxi driver. Where to? Uh, just drive away from here. Drive. I'll tell you when the mood hits me. Nowhere. I got something to take up for. Take up something to take care of first. All right. Is there something new in the uh, in the pawn shop? All right. Carnival of death. Okay. Hmm. Did we do all the side quests here?
I'm sure we missed something, but I feel like Guides we did most of the back. things. What you need? Uh, I have to buy something. Right. Here's what we got today. Honestly, I feel like I should take this. Like we have a lot of money, and sometimes we use a gun. Like sometimes it's worth it. I think I should buy it. I'm buying. I'm doing it. I've bought it. I'm reading. I have read it. It's done. All right. So now our gun is at one. All right. Do you have another one? Thanks for coming back. I would like another book, need? please. All right. Here's what we got. All right. Today. Yeah. I I do want to shoot things. All right. Cool. All right. Thank you for the gold, kind stranger. Thanks for coming back. All right. Do you have what another you one? All right. Here's what we oh, got. Today. Items beneath your abilities. All right. Cool. All right, so I have a feeling that there's going to be a book for every one of these skills. So I'm kind of pissed that I leveled up security. Or, like, is it cost more points? Yeah, I shouldn't have leveled up security. All right, are we re rolling? We're re rolling. We're restarting from the game. Fuck it. We're not leveling anything up until we have the book that leveled it up. That's it. If I wasn't streaming this game, I would legitimately do that. <laughs> right now. I'm not even kidding. I would legit do that right now. <laughs> uh, okay, let's let's keep going. All right, let's go in the taxi and just see the new area, and then we will end the stream because we're over time. Do 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 Need a ride? Yeah, just drive. Sure, let's go for a ride. I'll tell you when to stop. Oh no. Oh no, alright. Hey, dude. Oh, well, that's the end of my story. I didn't look behind me when I got out of the taxi cab and I got knocked over the head. Let's drain it. Let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with that's it? It's fucking Wolverine. Ah, lick. <laughs> lick? <laughs> Beckett, save us! I want it. No, Jack, Jack, save us! Camarilla, fuck! Boys, I think we could all use a little entertainment. Those of you sitting in the first few rows will get wet. Did you just break the fourth wall or what? Son of a bitch! Leave. There's three of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> that makes it a fair fight. <laughs> three of us. What are you gonna do? Shoot us? Yeah. Oh! Say it over. We'll find you. You too, Rodriguez. You're both dead. Nobody messes with the sabbat and lives. Oh, look Keep out. moving. He has an grenade. What if I had stealthed all the way through and then planted the bomb? Like you. Would this be different? Good effort. <laughs> Execution needs a little work. <laughs> you look like shit. Name's Nines. Thanks for the help. Should have been more careful, newbie. This ain't the burbs. I agree. I could have taken them. I'll remember that. You do that. Me? I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. I'll do that. This is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. Alright, we've met nines. Where's Tube? Now this is Cyberpunk. Oh man, I'm impressed. Holy shit. How big is this game? I was expecting the game to be quite small. What the fuck? Do we actually go to China? What the fuck? 
Look at that! Do we get a laser sword in China that is much more powerful than a regular sword but doesn't have the same impact damage on doors and lockers so you have to carry around a laser sword for combat and a normal sword for to break through lockers and shit because the game is just that shittily designed when it comes to melee combat and the choices you can make sorry i'm just like no no game in specific i'm just just spitballing that's the original Dave sex by the way not a cyberpunk joke Maybe it's in the unofficial patch. Baby sale. Oh, gargoyle! That's gonna come to life. Oh, it is cyberpunk! Nice! It is cyberpunk. Cool. Uh oh. Wait, hold on. Timestamp. Alright, so that's it for me. Uh, thank you very much for watching me play. Um, I will be back tomorrow playing some more. We'll explore this new downtown map and uh, see where the game goes. Uh, I think I'm going to try and, and um, focus more on...